Right. Oh. So, uh, this is Pokemon Emerald, any percent glitchless. Uh, I am Wave Warrior, joined with two commentators, uh, Kurt and Jester. Do you want to say hello? Hello, hello. Hope everyone's enjoying the marathon. Jester, are you there? <laughs> yep, I'm here. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, uh, this run is uh, probably my favorite uh, run to do. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of fast-paced, skill-based mock biking once you get uh, to the midpoint of the run. Um, a lot of cool fights, cool strategies, and uh, so let's just jump into it. Clear my save data really quick. Clear save data just so that we get a little bit extra text on our first soft reset of the game. Yep. Uh, set my options. Standard Pokemon options of uh, text fast. Um, uh, battle style set and animations off. And I also set L equal to A so that I can mash L on my SP right here. And it will uh, function as an extra A press, which is useful for mashing. Um, and with that, let's just go ahead and get started. So, give you a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right. Good, Good no luck. frame oh. type? Uh, I actually, I've looked through all the frame types. My favorite is just the first one. Wow. Fair That's a bold choice. My, my favorite's the second one, so. Reset efficiency. The, the main reason I choose the second one is because... It's one input, and it allows me to figure out whether I've uh, cleared my save. Right. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we pick the girl over the boy. Um, there is a reason for that. Uh, there's two reasons. The big one is on Rival 2. Um, she, If May is your rival, meaning you picked the boy, then she will lead Wingle, and Wingle knows Growl. Um, and we need to set up X attacks on that fight, so if we get growled, it's very bad. Uh, however, uh, the Brendan rival leads a Slugma, which doesn't have this issue. Um, Brendan as a rival also has uh, a little less text than May, uh, so that's a benefit, but even if Brendan had more text, we would still pick May because of the rival 2 thing. Slugma has its own issues, but we'll get there. Yeah, it's not there. it's not great, <laughs> but uh, it's better than Wingle. Let's not yeah. forget that May has a spiced orange GameCube in her room compared to the purple. Yeah, it's very a... important detail. Very also, nice right character. there, you saw me go to the PC and grab a potion. Uh, that's actually a marathon specific strat. Uh, normally, most runs you don't need a potion until you get to Petalburg, where you can just buy potions. Um, but in, if you do that, there is the possibility that you can die to both Rival 1 and the first trainer fight. It's very unlikely, but yeah. it's actually faster to just get the potion there than it is to safety save for both of them. Um, so that's why I do that. And also, if I don't end up using it, um, then I have an extra potion. And yeah, potion count is actually very important in this run. Oh, right there. That, that's, a, that's a fun trick, where uh, if the game is switching audio tracks when you go through a screen transition, uh, you have to wait until the audio track is fully deloaded until it loads the new screen. Uh, so by going down to save right there, I can save a little bit of time on that menu while losing no time there, because I have to wait anyway for the audio transition. It saves a couple frames. <laughs> Anyway, this is Mud Kit Manip. Uh, this is a one frame trick. You hear me counting down my flow timer to try to get this. Alright, that felt pretty good. Okay, it wasn't even close. Um, interesting. That was two frames off. I'm not sure in what direction. Well, given that you were pressing early, I'd assume that would be timid, right? Probably. I 
I'm using the actual Twitch stream to watch at the moment, unfortunately. Alright, so this is probably it. Looks good. There's a chance that this is the one frame early. If you double high roll with the one frame early, it can two shot. So now he's going to try to uh, extend this into an encounterless uh, route one, or route 101, rather. Um, it's a pretty big window, so he should be able to get it. There's 15 frames, I believe. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Um, okay. top, 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 top. I missed it yesterday. <laughs> it happens once in a while. It's also, there's a chance this might not work because I took extra steps to get the potion. In my testing, it's generally worked. And by my testing, I mean Jester's testing. Um, <laughs> I asked him to test that for me. Um, it seems to work, but it doesn't always. Um, or we don't, I should say, we don't know if it always works. But yeah, it seems to have worked here. So mentioning step count, um, he did take a few extra steps to get that potion, and that he will have to make up for that usually um, for the chain. Yeah. But with the I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut up, through the I'm gonna cut through the grass after Pedalberg uh, to save the steps back. I do believe yeah. it will still work because me being okay, great staring at the wall a lot of the time, I do take many extra right. steps in my runs. Ooh, rough start on this rival fight. <laughs> oh, but that's a good. Yep. Good counter. <laughs> Alright, worked out. Time save overall. You take that. And this is the like, correct method. That's a pretty All common right. frame to get where you crit. You get crit yep. and then you instantly crit back. The, the thing is, the way that RNG works in this game is... Um, it advances every frame, basically. There's more nuance to it than that, and I'll talk about it later in the run. But basically, every single frame, the RNG changes. And so that means if you're hitting, you're, you're hit being frame perfect on your mudkip, and then you're getting a window of frames after that for no encounter. So when you start the battle, you're going to have a window of like, I don't know, ballpark 20 to 30 frames that you're generally hitting within. So you see a lot of duplicate outcomes um, over the course of your runs. Like I, I've gotten double crit many times, like, sorry, he crits into me critting. Like I've seen that frame many times. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just, it's just the way that RNG lines up. Yeah, the only asterisk on that is it's actually hard to manipulate fights themselves because the rate that RNG advances actually um, increases in the fight. So um, instead of advancing once every frame, it advances twice every frame. Um, it still advances every frame. It just advances like faster, I guess, in a way. Yeah, it's... It's not super feasible to manip outcomes in battles in a consistent way. But when you're not going for a specific outcome on Rival 1 and you're just, you know, going into the fight at generally the same time, you do see duplicate outcomes. There is a thing where on a, on a Roxanne, if we could manipulate a crit on a specific turn, we would. It would definitely be worth it to save and reset if we could consistently get a crit. But unfortunately, due to the way the game works, you would need like at minimum four consecutive crit frames in order for it to be human viable. And that just doesn't exist anywhere. Yeah. So the solution is if nose pass came out early. I was gonna say I, the solution is just not to be human and to be a machine. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. It, yeah, because it's if there was if it was if you're only aiming for one specific frame for a crit, that actually requires two consecutive frame perfect inputs to the way that RNG works. This pooch is arranged to three shot. Um, he got a low roll the first turn, but I think it worked out. I think they were all standard rolls. Oh, um, it looked like I, a low I roll. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, I'll, I'll default to trusting you on that one. All right, let's see if we get a low tatter Ralt here. No. If you get a level four low tatter Ralt, you can actually kill it, and it gives you enough experience to um, save back the time later. Yeah. It needs to be a level four Ralt or low tad though. Um, and uh, 
everything else is just not really worth it. Mm -hmm. You also need to hope that it, one, doesn't use too many growls based on whether it's a low tat or a relt, and two, does not have exceptionally high defense, because otherwise it can stall you out, and you can also miss tackles, which further loses time. And you can see you bought uh, five potions, and we're going to hope those potions uh, really last a long time because, as Wave said earlier, potions are incredibly important in this run, specifically ma for maintaining uh, low HP for Torrent. Yes, exactly. So Torrent is the Mudkip evolution line ability. It's the evolution, it's the ability for every starter's evolution line. Um, and for those who don't know, although I figure most of us would know, it boosts water type moves by 50% if you're under a third HP, a third of your max HP. And that is insanely powerful, but it requires us to have pretty granular control over our HP so that we don't heal too much in certain places. Uh, and that's why the potions are really important for late game. Um, I, I bought five there. I'm also gonna get the beach potion later for a total of six. Seven if you include the PC potion also. Um, and that's two extra over what you normally get in a run. So hopefully I'll be good uh, on number of potions. But I've, yeah. I've had runs where like you use all five of your potions before you make it to Slateport. And that's no fun. That's not going to happen this time, I believe. I, I, it helps I don't have to potion for uh, Aqua Poops because I already PC potioned. Yeah. For Calvin. Assuming you will save for this upcoming fight, though, because oh, it is a very scary fight. <laughs> yeah, the famous Aqua Pooch. Yeah, so Aqua Pooch, um, just five turns to take him down. He has Sand Attack, and we all know what Sand Attack does. It's one in three to use Sand Attack every turn. He also has Howl, which boosts his attack, which means he kills you faster. Um, <laughs> So if you I miss, then the problem can kind of compound. Cut through the grass right there. Normally you actually go down and on the beach in order to avoid, avoid those grass steps. Uh, it just saves. So well. <laughs> it's, I need to save the steps back. Since I took extra steps to get the PC potion, I use that to save those steps back. Um, so so that, is good. that trainer he just passed as a spinner, and uh, oh, yeah. as you saw, he ran uh, right under and to the right to it to make it look down, and then had a window to pass it safely. Yeah, so we're going to be passing a lot of spinners in this game. Um, the way that spinners work, ge spinner passes generally work, is they will always see you if you run past them. However, if you run near them and it forces them to look at you, um, that resets their spin timer. And a spinner cannot spin until their spin timer hits at least 32 frames. Um, so if you can run to force a spinner to look a certain way and then pass them without running in less than 32 frames, it is a guaranteed safe pass. And that is the general philosophy behind um, all the spinner passes in this game. Right, there is this. another method where you uh, enter the bag and that also resets their timer. Um, yes. So you will see that. I'm going to do it right here, actually. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to run to force the trainer to look down, then go into my bag, heal, and then walk past them. And I'll be 100% safe. That was also a very good Aqua Pooch fight. A six turn fight is something you never complain about. <laughs> yeah, one miss. Not bad. As long as you're not getting to the repetition of music, I'm kind of happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we ran, forced the trainer to look down, and then we can just walk straight past. This one's a so little different. Uh, this one's a rotator, uh, which means they spin in a consistent pattern. Uh, so that one did actually take 32 frames to pass, but in order, f after looking left, it takes like 100 frames until he looks up or something like that. Yeah, because um, he looks from left to down. So yeah, left to down to right to up. So I have there's just no way he could see you. Yeah. 
And just know he's got the gym fights. And uh, this is the most annoying gym fight here, and the rest are pretty free. So yeah, unfortunately, we don't fun. get water gun until level ten. Um, so we have to mud slap this Yo dude six times and sit through all of these accuracy drop animations. Yeah. Fortunately, accuracy drop usually means that you uh, get hit less, and you do want to keep your HP relatively high here. Yeah. Um, Ideally, I take no more than one more tackle for the rest of this fight. Yeah, otherwise you will have to heal, so... And, uh, like you said, potions extremely valuable, so... 33 is fine as long as I don't get 13 rolled. I'm just thinking ahead to the Roxanne fight and calculating damage rolls because it's very finicky how it works out. Alright, so this is good. Could go with two minerals. Now it doesn't work. That's good. This is, yeah, this is 27 uh, for nose pass. Yeah, decent HP setup. Not the best, but uh, enough to tank a little bit, so. It works. Yep. Anyway, now that we have Water Gun, we're going to farm these Geodudes for EXP, because they give a lot of EXP. These are the only yeah. optionals we fight in the run. Hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I believe in Wave. If I was doing the run, not so much. Alright, so you're going to see him switch Water Gun to Slot 1 here really quick, and that's just because we're going to be using Water Gun a lot. Yep. And move swapping in Gen 3 extremely fast, which is super nice. Mm -hmm. It's always a very satisfying thing to do. You also might see me sometimes, a lot of times after fights, I will bonk into the trainers before moving. Uh, that cancels a turn frame, where if you change direction when you're not moving, you will get a turn frame, which lasts about 8 frames. However, if you start by moving in the direction we're already looking, there's no turn frame, and then the game interprets you as moving. So, uh, you don't get the turn frame when you turn. It only say it saves at most seven frames every time you do it. Realistically, it's probably well like three frames. Um, yeah, but you're not gonna up. be bonking into the wall frame perfectly every time, mm -hmm. but it still saves I some time. To save. Okay, I always forget to save this video. Very far behind on the video. Okay. So, uh, that's a problem. <laughs> so, the deal with Roxanne is you go in at uh, different HP sometimes, so you sometimes you growl, sometimes you don't on the nose pass. The Geodudes are free, though. Oh, boy. I forgot to save this in my practice run as well. <laughs> at this HP, Wave will have to growl, and uh, he's yeah, probably going to try to play it. Mistake. He's probably going to try to play it super safe here. <laughs> Unfortunately, he it's hard to play this fight completely safe because a Rock Tomb crit is up to 32. Yeah, so unless you're full HP or they're so about I, I to die. I do have to risk a Rock Tomb here. Okay, that was 12. All right. It's max Get roll. roll again. <laughs> it's 1 in 16. Yeah, that's... I was hoping for a 10. Got 12. The, okay, the general uh, thought process with the Roxanne fight in an ideal scenario is that you use enough water guns so that you can get nose pass to half health. Health where Roxanne won't heal nose pass, but, but a torrent water gun can kill. Yeah, this fight's really awkward with how the HPs work out. Because um, nose pass doesn't earn very and two potions. Um, so I'll end up get stuff like this. Um, this will work out nicely, yeah. though. Like, the potion heals for 20, and Torrent Water Gun does at most 20. Yeah, so you uh, end so up heal log. As long as I don't get tackle bit. crit on this turn, I'm fine. Okay, yeah. Water. And she won't, she won't go for Rock Tomb there, because, uh, she only goes for Rock Tomb if you're faster or kills. Mm -hmm. Usually. The kill is a pseudo roll, she just rolls a dice and sees how much damage it will do, which at minus two, I believe it's between seven and nine. Okay, well, he got through it despite not saving, and he's got a nice yeah. HP set up for the next section. So. I've, I've routed this to be as close to the standard route as possible, while also minimizing the number of safety saves I have to do. 
But there are a lot of fights where there, there's just no way to actually play it safe. You have you have to risk yeah. you know a turn of getting crit or something like that. Or a five percent miss that kills you. You know. Yeah, there's a lot of those in this run. <laughs> One of the five percent. Anyway, here is uh, what we call reverse change manip, where I'm going to manipulate both a Talo and an Abra and catch them both. And mute my. It's about five individual semi-frame perfect inputs, many of them being about four to five frame windows, the Taylor catch being a lot bigger. So he's going to have an offset to enter the bag, an offset to throw the ball, an offset to exit the battle with Taylor, and then he's going to do a very specific movement to hit uh, a number of Abras along a path, depending on where he hits in a frame cluster. Yeah, and he mentioned reverse chain. Uh, that's because the old manip here used to catch Abra first and then Talo, but it's actually better for our Pokemon order to get Talo first. So that's why this manip was developed by, uh, I believe, Amoeba put most of the work into this manip. So Maybe kudos UK, to them. God Gamer. Talo equals Court. Tiny Swallow Pokemon. It's true. That's what it says on the screen. And there's the Abra. That's the uh, so most shorty. most common Abra. Uh, actually, no, yeah, Shorty is actually um, second most common. Should be good. All right. The thing with the Abra is that, that is there's not no easy offset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah. That's done, assumedly, with music, unless you're Swift Alu. Switch, In which dude. case it's done by feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, because because of the way it works, you can encounter Abras on three different tiles, basically five different tiles if you do the full thing. Um, so, and they all have different Yola Ball windows. Um, so you can't use Flow Timer for them because there's five different windows. You have to essentially create five different Flow Timer windows. Um, and, and they'd, they'd be overlapping, they'd be overlapping yeah. and it's not feasible. So instead we use the, the music in the background um, to tell us when to throw. Yeah, just before this fight you saw there's uh, those double spinners there and he did a nice quick bit of movement to uh, run to make the top guy look down as he passed so that he could just fight this hiker here. And you can see he looked right back as he ran away. Shorty is nice, that specific one, because I think all of them actually have it so the NPCs are looking in favorable directions when you encounter it. So, it, unless you get quick spun after the fight, you can just go straight right and I think many of them. the Jeffrey frames have it, unfortunately. Yeah, Jeffrey, I think what's optimal is to run one tile and then walk, and then that lines up their spin cycles, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, now, Amiibo's, uh... Naming scheme for the uh, Abros definitely stuck. Yeah, it's there's, there's Shorty, <laughs> Jeffrey, Zigzag, Half Monty, and Full Monty. <laughs> some are self-explanatory. Right. Some don't ask. <laughs> so You're gonna do coming... something called a pause minute, or you have to explain that. Uh, yeah, I literally was, but Go for it's it. okay. Good. So um, the third way to pass spinners is uh, certain spinners uh, have longer cycles, so. Um, this one can only spin on frame 32 and 64. So uh, we run two tiles away, walk two tiles, so that's 32 frames. Check if it spun on frame 32, um, which she didn't. So he had a safe pass because it, she could not spin till frame 64. Mm -hmm. Spin timers pause when you're uh, in the pause menu. Yeah, uh, so that's so why... the point he... of the pause there was just to give me time to see whether or not she had spun. And then once I saw that she hadn't, I knew it was safe to pass. Yeah. If she and if had she spun, had... I would have run straight down, walked back up, and done the same thing, basically. Exactly. You can be frame perfect, right? Which is a problem. With the pulls. Uh, no. If you're frame perfect, uh, she still spins. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just thinking of making Because gen she will spin right? the same frame Oops. you hit the pause button, basically. Yeah. If it... <laughs> if... She didn't spin if you were frame perfect, and that meant you could just walk two tiles past every spinner, uh, which would be a lot easier. <laughs> okay, 
so right here he's got some cutscenes to go through. Uh, about to leave, and the scientist is like, "Wait, we have we've invented cell phones." <laughs> they have. It's like they just gave you this Pokenav, but they need to upgrade it immediately. It's like it's like when you get a new phone, but you need a software updated immediately because they shipped it with like broken software. Pretty sure this game was released in two thousand five. So. All it does is lose you about a minute throughout the run. Yeah. Yep. And if you have a live battery, it. it'll lose you even more. Yeah. Fortunately, I should mention that here. yeah, my my Emerald Cart has a dead battery, which um, is optimal for the speed run because it it gets rid of time based phone calls. So the only phone calls I get throughout the run are based on story progression. Yeah. Um, there are certain situations where if you uh, soft reset, you can get a phone call after walking outside for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, That's the one but, you. but the way all of our soft resets are lined up, um, specifically the Rayquaza one, because that's the only one left, um, mm -hmm. that that won't happen um, because he's in a building. When, Ooh, I got a frame perfect potion. When it would trigger. If you pick up a hidden item frame perfectly, the game will never... Um, Register that you've stopped moving. Um, ads. <laughs> the game will never register that you stop moving, and so you won't get the turn frame when you start moving again. Yep, and no turn frame means time save. Um, also, you noticed before running in, I opened my menu and went down to bag. That's another example of I had to wait for the audio to transition. Um, before I, I could actually load the inner room, so it loses no time to go down the back. I'd say it's like two frames. <laughs> yeah, audio lag is kind of a finicky thing in this game. Um, later on when we have the bike, we'll be getting on and off it at certain points just to uh, change the audio track to make entering a door faster. It's mm -hmm. it's really weird how it slows down the rest of the game. Yeah. Kind this of game interesting. 60 FPS, by the way. I don't think we mentioned that. So frame yeah. perfect tricks are about 17 milliseconds. I have five potions, which should be more than enough. <laughs> uh, I'd be very surprised if you managed to chew through those. Yeah. yeah. So now he's going to be doing a little bit of running through the dark here, um, but it's I'll the same every time. Secret, I actually know the path, so I don't need <laughs> to see. Pretty you much most of memory. blacked out. You can't see it. But we're going over to uh, Steven. He's gonna deliver him that letter. It's a bit of menu optimization here. In the first uh, buy, we buy two repels, specifically so that when we run out of repels, repels will end up at the bottom of the bag here, which means it's only one input down to the escape roof afterwards. Mm -hmm. Save a couple of inputs. You you. Yeah, that's you count the inputs throughout the rest of the run, and it ends up saving like one or two inputs to do it this way. And it's satisfying. Yeah, and he's already moved his cursor over to the escape rope, I believe. So he's just gonna be able to kind of mash here, and it makes it really fast. Now you might think that it's the time to do Brawly, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, Brawly is scary, so we're just gonna abandon him. Yeah, um, fighting yeah, fighting Brawly early in Emerald is a death wish. So first off, instead, I'm not even we just leave. Yet. I'm still Mudkip, uh, and he has three Pokemon, all of which are like at least level 16, which is even level with me. And I have, you know, no tools to help me out. Uh, so we're just gonna come back to him later when we're level uh, 28, and it's not a fair fight. Yeah, and we just one shot all these Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Technically, we'll, Mogging Heat is also a range. We'll we'll see yeah. fighting. We'll save fighting Brawly early for the uh, Sapphire Masochist. Yeah. Yeah. Sapphire is a real game. You saw me pick up the revive on the beach there. Funnily enough, revive is not actually useful for the fights you would think it would be useful for. I still need to safety save for Flannery, for uh, Norman, for like Maxi and Archie boss fights. Um, because you use X items on those fights. And if you die and revive, you lose your X item boosts, uh, so you actually can't win. What the revive does do, though, um, is it makes it so you don't have to save for the fights that are like 
three to five percent to kill you where dying to them is possible but it's not really something you generally worry about but in a marathon you do have to worry about about it the first you know, example is this fight <laughs> i'd say it gets most use here yeah yeah so this oh this Carvana. is the worst way to start off this fight all right we didn't get flinched I yeah fight your to see how it started yeah oh come on Did are you, you kidding me fight? I got triple bite. I can actually die to this fight again. Uh, this is. <laughs> Are you? This kidding is not me? ideal. <laughs> All right. Well, there goes the revive. Well, so step count doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. Now you yeah. focus energy. Cool. I'll yeah, potion then... while I have the time. This Carvana's AI is random. Um, it's so getting bite random. like that is very yeah. unlucky. Um, one in 27. Completely again. random. And it's it almost always dies to tackle tackle mud slap. Um, so usually you don't die here, but you know, marathon lock. Am I right? Yeah. Off and off. It should kill with double Leah. Still die by the way. Uh, yeah, rage doesn't actually kill Abra there without the Leas. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, we should win. <laughs> yeah, we should. Well, there goes my safety for, like, ten other fights throughout the run. Um, is there oh, another revive just... I could pick up somewhere? Uh, there uh, is. A I max think... revive in Maxi 2? Wait. No, that's in Sapphire. There's a revive. I know. Oh. I know where the one is in yeah, Sapphire. Yeah. You can pick up the max revive just before Maxi 2. But I, I don't know about any run. You don't then. need it at that point. Well, I mean, before Maxi 2, you would. Hmm. I guess you can you can die to the one in thirty. You can get crit. You could potentially buy one, maybe, but I, I don't know how you oh, get the money for it. Moss deep. You could pick up the max ether and sell it. Oh wait, no, nah, but like yeah. do they not? Herb. Do they not sell it in in uh, Fall Arbor? I thought they did. I don't think they do in Fall Arbor. In Lava Ridge, the herb shop has revival herbs. But... Yeah, but they're expensive. Yeah. You can, you can also pick up the charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, charcoal strats unironically would work. Because it's 4,900, you have plenty of money. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Anyway, some on-the-fly routing happening here. This fight, you... Yeah. And Zuba is actually also annoying, because it's 1 in 3 to use Supersonic. Uh, but on the evolution range. there, we got Mud Shot, which is simultaneously the best and worst move of the run. It is amazing for this early to mid game section. It is 55 base power ground type, uh, so it gets stab, and so that's a very powerful move for early mid game. Um, unfortunately, it is 95% accurate, so it misses 5% yeah. of the time, and it has a wonderful habit of missing exactly when you don't want it to. I had a run in Sapphire recently that was world record pace after uh, Rival 3. And on Mount Pyre, I missed a mud shot on a random Carvana, and it killed me. Yeah, hitting a missing mud shot is really the make or break of uh, many Emerald runs. Yeah, there are a lot of mud shots that you just can't miss. You'll see uh, one coming up very soon. To mention um, a very problematic slugma. First we have to, uh, first we have to go through the, uh, plus alum mining of, uh, time loss. Ah, uh, Isabel. Yeah. Pokemon fan Isabel. These fights are Emerald exclusive. I think one of them is there in Sapphire, but you can just run around her. Yeah. Uh, but in Emerald, they're both mandatory. And they're actually a big reason why we can skip Raleigh. Uh, these give, these two fights give two full levels. And so that gives enough experience to where... Uh, we can handle uh, Rival 2. Whereas in in Sapphire, if you skipped Brawly, you'd be like level... you just barely get level 17 or something going into the fight, compared to being level 19 for Rival 2 in this game. Anyway, Growl on turn 1 is not what you want to see, because if you get Growl again, then Mudshot doesn't kill here. Which also procs an Orin Berry and a Speedfall yep. text, which is yep. maximum time loss. And you still have to Mudshot again, which Lovely. could miss. 
Yeah, not what you want to see there. Yeah. And you get the speedfall animation. And Orin Berry. Alright. At least he didn't use quick attack there. That that's the ultimate combo where you get double growl, get all those animations. You're faster, and then it just uses quick attack anyway. In general, this fight is 25% to suck. Yes, and yeah. we got that 25%. This yeah. fight is better though because, really importantly, actually, the order is flipped, and so the one with worst defense comes out second. So he still dies after two growls, and you're also higher. Yeah, and the other reason we hate Isabel is uh, she, is she is one of the main. She is one of the main people that um, will call you after soft resets. So if you're trying to practice on a practice save, you'll just get <laughs> random calls from Isabel. I'm just laughing at what happened. I accidentally... even works. I accidentally used Water Gun instead of Mud Shot, and it crit, which did enough damage to proc the Orin Berry. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I would do. It doesn't matter. All good. Yeah. We're not uh, too tight on PP here, so... Yeah, you never have to worry about move usage. There's only one section where you use like all 15 of your serves. There's two sections actually, but they're kind of all accounted for. There's not really any variance in them, aside from like one fight. Be taking um, a center I'm after a few trains. Oh. 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 You gonna see another pause up here? After uh, we save, hopefully. Yes, I'm gonna save. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I was gonna mention that the Carvana is a range, <laughs> but. Yeah, I. Yeah, that Carvana might not have died with to Mud Slap without Soft Sand. Alright, so, uh. Glad, we... glad I didn't die twice to that Carvana and go all the way back to Pedalburg and lose half my money. So, you saw he picked up the full heal. Um, hopefully, we don't need to use it right away because that's going to be our only. I know, ideally, um, it never gets healing. That's going to be our only status healing until we get to uh, the herb shop, so. Alright, Yama turned one as well. So the best fight you can get is only embers so that you never fall asleep, but that's pretty unlikely. Uh, so the second best fight you can get is as many yawns as possible, uh, because ember is slow. Yeah. Yeah, and if you're around 36 HP, you're gonna have to heal, so um, seeing more yawns here is good. And obviously, I can't use the full heal to wake up. One, because I want it for other things, and two, because he might just yawn again. So. Pretty fast Being asleep for Grovile is suboptimal. Alright, so this Grovile, it's actually really interesting routing. After an X speed, we're still slower than the Grovile, which is important because Absorb gets off first, and then he crits me and we reset. Very important. Is that what happened? <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm an Australian so, internet. What's well, supposed to happen is he leaves you at low health, doesn't heal at all from Absorb because he's already at full health. Then I hit the Mud Shot, and Mud Shot is a guaranteed speed fall, and after that speed fall, you're faster. What is interesting is when your health is too low below at least 8, I want to say, because 9 is 1 in 16. Uh, she will choose the most killing move that has priority. And that yeah. is quick attack. So, this fight has kill AI, so if it sees a move that can kill, it will always use it. Um, and quick attack does... Okay, thanks. It does 7 to 9. So if Absorb does enough damage to put you in that range, then uh, then it can quick attack and you have to heal. But then the worst thing that can happen is, wow, max sleep. And I'm burning two potions. The worst yeah, thing that can many. happen is if you get hit to exactly 8 HP. Because at 8 HP, it is not guaranteed to quick attack. Um, and if you guess wrong on what move it'll use, you generally die. Usually yeah. you heal. You always die if you guess what wrong. No, if if you guess it's absorb, four and sixteen, but it uses quick attack, it can roll seven and you live. Oh, that's true. All right, so now I hit the mud shot, and the speedfall animation happens, and now I'm faster. Now we tackle. 
because tackling is good, because it reminds us to use tackle on Wingull and not Mudshot on the flying Pokemon. Tackle doesn't get the not very effective text. That's also true. Yeah, that Wingle uh, has killed many runs to critting at the end as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like you, yeah. you get past Grow Bottle, which is the thing you generally worry about, because you have to. It's normally it's not that bad to fight. You have to hit two ninety-five percent moves and not get crit, and that's not that unlikely. You're like eighty-five percent or something. Um, but it's like, yes, I got past the Grow Vile, and then Wingle crits you, <laughs> or you miss tackle. Anyway, uh, this uh, Magnemite is a 14 and 16 range skill with Water Gun. However, I don't have the revive, so I'm scared. I'm just gonna mud slap it. Don't blame That's you. Fair play, yeah. It does have Supersonic. Yeah. Yeah, it, it Supersonic. Can't, yeah, Supersonic is really the only scary thing it has. It has Tackle and Metal Sound as well. Tackle was like three. The meme Abra? Yeah, this always does two damage unless it crits. It also well, one in damage. sixteen high rolls. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could do five yeah. damage if it crits. Yep. It could do six also damage if it max will crit. <laughs> Which is a one in oh, two. Oh, I got a crit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Everything's been spoiled for me as we go. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. Yeah, I had to refresh yeah. my stream. I think I'm a little less behind now. I'm just using Twitch, because this is not working for me. Anyway, now we get Rock Smash. Uh, and we teach Rock Smash to our Marsh Top, because surprisingly, we don't actually need four move slots on our main poke. Um, and Rock Smash actually does get used for one fight. It comes in super clutch on that fight, too. Yeah, it, it Of the sucks. defense drop. It sucks without Rock Smash. Um, it really saves that fight, honestly. Smash is 20 power in general. And now we get the uh, best item in the game. The game yep. the, uh... this, is, this is part of the reason why I love this game, is Mach Viking is really hard, but it's really rewarding if you get good at it. It feels so good to do a section, like, flawlessly. With that. I mean, normally you're on bag there, but I died. Hey, I mean, you're just checking your progress and becoming a, a Pokemon champion. You gotta know, do it sometimes. The best part of the game is at the very end of the credits when it flashes all the Pokemon you've registered in your Pokedex and you have, like, six total. <laughs> yeah, you've caught Abra, you've caught uh, Taylor, seven. you've caught Abra and Taylor and Rayquaza <laughs> yeah. and Abra and Taylor. You have three starters, Abra, Taylor, cast form, Rayquaza. Uh, we have to, so we go to the right here and fight this trainer. We have to fight him at some point because this is the way you get to uh, Weather Institute and Fortree City. Um, but it's useful to fight him now for the experience. Yep. It gives, as I learned uh, like two days ago, it gives just enough experience to where you outspeed Voltorb after using an X speed. Because yeah, I forgot that... to fight this trainer because I had Sapphire on the brain and I got outsped by Voltorb and self destructed on. <laughs> self destruct is not optimal to get. Although it is faster, it is how you get your gold splits, but it definitely does. Too yeah, much it damage. saves marginal time on that split, but you lose more of it back on the next split because you have to heal. And that guy on the left can be one of five different colors. Uh, he was pink this time. I was like seeing what color he is in my runs. He can be pink, red, blue, yellow, and green. I did not know that. Yep. Totally random. Yep. No poker rust this time though. I'm lucky. What do you guys think? You think we'll see a hiker on the uh, on the lift today? Nope. Let's see. Uh, you go through twice and it's 1 in 64. Uh... <laughs> Only one in thirty-two I get is max roll wing attack on maxi two. That Ralts is like basically a nothing fight because you know you just mud shot it, except for the time when mud shot misses and then it double teams. It's a nothing yep. fight, but don't tell me about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Has died to that. F I How think do you yeah. die. You Everyone's been trolled. <laughs> <laughs> 
How do you die? Well, doesn't it have confusion? Untimely I think, confusion. I think that's threats. Ral confusion. Yeah. Double and double that's Yeah. Well, such a crazy that's series. A <laughs> Sequence, you, you have to miss have a lot, hit, yeah. You only have to hit one move. Alright, so... Anyway, this we're... fight is the worst thing in existence. Yeah, this yep. is my, my personal nemesis here, a youngster Ben. <laughs> um, he uh, is a, about 50% range to die to Mudshot, Nine but he has 16, Growl. I think. Hey, we growl, got it. He has Growl and Sand Attack, and uh, yeah. I, I, I don't need to say anymore. My practice run yesterday, I I missed Mudshot, got growled, Water Gun into Sand Attack. It was a whole thing. I got poisoned by the gold pin. That's so bad. Especially now, if you were almost used never heal. safe for this fight in any regular circumstance. But because I don't have to revive, I have to play around the. 10% self-destruct into 1 in 16 crit. Yeah, I mean, no one ever dies to Watson, luckily. Especially not me eight times. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh... This fight is generally pretty free. Um, the Voltorb just cooperates and uses rollout. Knock on wood. Should just use rollout here. Yeah. And see, it does nothing. Yeah. If rollout misses, you want to kill it right away before you X-Attack. Um, yeah, once so rollout that it... misses, it can self-destruct. Yep. So. If it missed the first rollout, I would have just killed it and then set up the X-Attack on this fight. Uh, funnily enough, the X-Speed and the X-Attack are... Or, the X-Attack is only for uh, for Manectric at the end. Everything else dies without the X-Attack. And but even it... with the X-Attack, the Manectric is still a range to die. <laughs> 14 and 16, yeah. But it's still faster to do it because if you two shot it, you get speedfall animation and citrus berry proc. And also, it might be a guaranteed two shot. I don't know. Should be, yeah. I'm just thinking like through citrus. Like the citrus might heal enough. It's one tanky electric dog, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, yeah. yeah, this is a, this is a very standard fight. You just get a couple rollouts and you hit your butt shots. Yeah, and very good lift. HP. Very nice for... health. Yeah. So that HP is going to kind of carry us all the way to uh, the maxi one fight, which is yep. where this next section will end. Um, and in between that, we have some of the best biking in the whole game. So kind of yes, just it's... sit back and enjoy. There's yeah. a couple bike heavy splits uh, in the run. This is the first one. Let's see if wave it's about 11 minutes long, frame. and it's almost all biking. Well, you cancelled the turn frame with the bike. I enjoy that. For this specific section, no. uh, we're gonna repel at a very specific tile, assuming we don't hit these trainers. Yep, right here. And this repel will wear off just before some double spinners, like a There's double fight. The first run to bike there. Um, same idea as the run minimums for before, but with the bike, we can actually pass from two tiles away. You just Six have to spinners. get on the bike fast enough. Yeah, really nice double spinners there. Um, they control you for a long time, so uh, them being instantly correct is really good. Get a little call that from Wally. They're just uh, deloaded. You, you go past a certain load line, which forces him to face down, and going back up at max speed does not allow him to spin. Yeah, so the mock bike is actually fast enough that if you're approaching a spinner from the bottom, um, they actually can't spin in time before you pass them. So, kind of a nice, another nice part about the biking. Because Small no change time. for uh, marathon routing. I'm going to sell two Pokeballs here. And that 400 or 200 extra Poke dollars is actually hugely important to let me afford things I want. Yeah, my safety route. <laughs> Yeah, so he's going to buy a lot of stuff here, um, mainly X items, but also some escape ropes, repels, a uh, single super potion, which um, will be probably used before Flannery. The extra and special. Used, yeah. These guard specs are both for um, magma and aqua fights. 
or I guess just magma fights in this game, right? Yeah. Yeah, just to avoid the possibility of scary face and sand attacks from Mighty Enna's. Also, uh, um, also grab, the, grab the protein right here in order to boost my attack. Any god bit. item enjoyers? Yeah, so this actually small EV boost you get from the protein will help a lot in terms of ranges later on. So I forgot to get off the bike here. If you get off the bike before starting this fight, you can cancel the turn frame by getting on the bike and get a guaranteed safe pass on the spinner. Uh, but I've got to do that, so I'm just getting back in it. Then you can also bonk off the bike, run one tile, and run to bike. I know, some people can do that satisfying. really fast. Every time I've tried to do it fast, I've always messed it up. So I just, I, do it, I, I just don't think. Slow, I slow down for like, I take one extra second, not even, and just do it right. Although I've messed it up every time in practice. <laughs> he slows down, but he is the world record holder, so. Yeah, there so this is uh, Angelina. Uh, there is a fancy pass you can do on her if you get off the bike, but um, yeah. just a nice round of bike will suffice for now. Now you get to mash and see the meeting of Aqua and Magma. I also, okay. with the shopping route, if I don't sell the two Pokeballs, the way the money works out, you are six Poke Dollars short of being able to afford everything you want at Palafor. Yeah, it's very six. fun. So, so what did you buy extra again? Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm buying, I bought the fourth special. Oh, I see. Okay. And, and then by selling two, you can also afford yeah. 644. So that is playing around getting a certain Rayquaza later on. Hopefully we don't hit it, I guess. I mean, it wouldn't matter too much given we're very With good the X the special, X it doesn't actually matter. It's actually yeah. sometimes good to hit it if you have the extra X special. Despite having some extra ranges, the quiet Rayquaza is actually really fast. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not getting persons, right? Oh, shit. I would get person, right. but... I'm not getting persons. Alright, yeah. so I messed up my movement a bit, so our pals gonna wear out two tiles early. I'm getting trolled right now. Yeah, so this okay. can happen with the double spinners. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This is one of the variables That's... of the split. <laughs> yeah, that sometimes was, you just lose was, I got the really good double spinners earlier, so I guess it balances out. Yeah. Yeah, Always I think nice the worst really nice someone's split. seen is like 20 seconds before they got a passable uh, <laughs> menu. Yeah. So Macwing had like 29 seconds, something like that. Yeah. yeah wait, if you do perfect movement here, your appell wears out exactly on the tile that you leave this cave on, which is optimal. I had to take two extra steps, so unfortunately. It's fine. No, no encounter out. though, yeah. Now we have a nice little menu to teach strength and uh, use that protein and uh, set up a repel for the next section. Protein basically takes five ranges and either eliminates them or makes them a lot better. Most of the time. Yeah, so <laughs> one of the biggest remember, examples remember the is, flower girl. <laughs> is yep. uh, the, the protein guarantees that you uh, win rival three. So we won't even have to save for that fight. Um, yeah. Where you would The only have way to... to die to that fight without saving is if you get chain ember burned and he's already really unlikely to use ember in the first place and he would have to burn me like multiple times in a row for me to run out of healing items yeah Those that's that could, we're, uh, we're talking about you. like actually one in a million odds or something like that yeah versus the one in 16 you are to die if you don't have the yeah. protein which is Definitely has happened to many people many times. Yep, it's everyone has the story. It's a, you just you have to strength, and it's a 15 and 16 range, and if you miss the range, it kills you. Yep. Uh, oh, speaking of strength, great great time to teach it before we uh, fight this trainer because uh, just here, yeah. wipes the floor with these guys. Same thing as before. We have to fight her eventually, but we fight her early for the experience. I believe that guarantees that Max sees Mariana is a two shot. That wouldn't surprise me. And this repel's gonna wear out perfectly, assuming Wave does perfect movement, no pressure. Uh, beside a hiker right. to manip him. So yeah, that, that, yeah that's it's basically like a pause minute from earlier. It wears out right there, and there's a one in eight chance that he spins. And if yeah, he doesn't he spin, does, yeah. then it's a safe pass. 
Yeah, we call that a repel buffer. Um, it kind of just takes the place of a pause and it lets you stop from moving at that high speed immediately. It's really nice. Oh, whoops. Lock button's hard. Yeah, that is a, that is a tough section there. But really, it doesn't really help that there's, you know, the ash raining down, so you have particle effects obscuring everything as well. Anyway, yeah. excuses, excuses. Yeah, whatever excuses you need to make, Wave. I, uh, I'm not going to argue. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be tile perfect there, and it's it's hard to be tile perfect on the Mach bike. It is a tough section, for sure. Changing direction on the Mach bike at top speed is... Uh, four frame individual windows. Yep, every tile is four frames, which is a fifteenth of a second. So, Mac Biking is the epitome of god gamership in the Pokemon universe, IMO. Yeah, so we're gonna crush some Zubats, Carvanos, Puccinos real quick, and then we're gonna be fighting Maxi One very soon. Do I have to save for Maxi One? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, for sure. For like sure. Chain bite. Yeah. Happens to us all. Yeah. Even with the revive, I would I would say for this upcoming fight, yeah. um, mainly because of the setup items. Um, yeah. But um, he'll he'll use an interesting strat here, um, and it's one of the reasons we want to. Halo in the slot higher up um, from the reverse chain up. Um, he's going to swap Talo to the front to uh, eat the Intimidate from Mighty Eno and uh, set up a guard spec at the same time and that'll that'll set up uh, Marsh Tomp perfectly to take everyone down after yep. some setup. The guard spec pr protects against sand attack. So it's perfect. It eats the Intimidate and we can actually do a useful thing on its turn. Yeah. Yeah, before you would have to send out Abra or swap Abra and Talo, um, which is a little bit slower because uh, Bite is super effective against Abra, so the fight, you lose like a couple seconds in the fight. Um, or you swap, so you lose a couple seconds doing that. It's time for an absolute banger of a tune. Yeah. Definitely one of the best uh, themes here. Love to hear it, but I'm currently getting an ad for health insurance. <laughs> so, Taylor being an MVP as always. Taking one for the team. Now. And now we we're actually how... speed tied with this Mighty Anna. So I'm going to mud shot it in order to get rid of the speed tie. Yeah. And now I'm faster. I'm lucky you got bite first. Yeah, mud shot is he's off uh strength times two will kill, but mud shot is often worth it just to guarantee you outspeed the next turn. Mud shot is the safer play, but strength has the faster top end because you don't get the speed fall animation. But you do have to win a speed tie. Exactly. Twice, ideally. Oftentimes, at certain HP, it's always worth it to mud shot just because of the risk. Okay. All right. I actually know if this thing could kill me. <laughs> Tackle. It can with magnitude. I actually but don't know if I've ever missed mud shot on that game. I've gotten before. I've gotten magnitude nine after a, after a miss there, and it can definitely kill you. Let me oh, tell you that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I legitimately don't think I've way. ever missed mud shot there, honestly. All right, very nice, Maxi one though. This will mean we'll have to heal, which I assume you'll be running to run to biking to menuing Ethan. Uh, I'll try. I messed it up in practice. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, 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 it's harder than run to biking. It's just so many. I I honestly I, don't even bother with the fancy pass here because it's just it's so like it's like not worth it to me. Yeah, and if you think too much about this pass, you can mess it up very easily. Yeah. So now that he got on the bike, it's actually better to uh, get off the bike as he exits the area. Oh, I didn't know about that, actually. Uh, for audio lag, but yeah. 
that's a recent development. Yeah, there is a bit of audio lag there. Yeah, that makes sense. That's actually uh, an NNN strat, I believe. He's actually okay. made a couple additions to the uh, current world record route. Are you going to be doing the pass wave? What pass? The NNN pass. Oh, for that one, yes. Nice. It's just, it's 100% worth it. Yeah, and it's very yeah. fancy looking. Anyway, here we have Flannery. Even with Flannery. Revive, you have to save for this fight because uh, if, we don't if have you die in Revive, though. it's a very unlikely range to two-shot, even with Protein. But Wave, you're a Water and Ground type against a Fire type. Why are you saving? Uh -huh. Well, you see, Water Gun sucks. It does. It's true. <laughs> and so does Mudshot sometimes. <laughs> and so water does Gun's good enough for this new one. Least. Yeah, so yeah. actually we, we delay the setup uh, to happen on the Slugma in this fight um, and just take out the new mole with the water gun. I think the new mole has a tracked. I, I didn't know that. I think it usually just uses right, light screen the best move to there because it does absolutely nothing. Yeah, light fact, screen is actually the best. You in one hit. The worst move is Sunny Day, because if Slugma uses Sunny Day, then Torkoal can't use Sunny Day, and we want Torkoal to use Sunny Day. So first Protein thing here, uh, normally 7 and 8 range, uh, but with Proteins guaranteed. So also crit. Yeah, and crit, obviously pretty nice Not too. Not the crit we wanted. Yeah, no, this is the thing you really want to crit on. Alright, this has been relief. a... Pretty good fight. As long as I don't yeah. miss. All right. Get any day? Nah. You can never celebrate too early. Because there's yeah. always the five percent. Yeah, you can miss into a tract and then get immobilized like twenty times and cry yourself to sleep. <laughs> you know, I've been <laughs> the there. The biggest tragedy <laughs> of this fight is being both paralyzed from body slam and attracted, breaking through both of them only to miss mud shot. <laughs> <laughs> Has that actually happened to you? Oh yeah, twice. <laughs> what? I think I, I've definitely had something similar That's happen. That's insane on that, that that happened yeah. twice. I've also died to Nummel before from 80 health. <laughs> Magnitude 10 crit kills. <laughs> oh my god. You just set yeah. up on it and it used Magnitude 10 crit. Uh, because I had no full heal, so I wanted to uh, give that, it a go. That's probably why uh, we don't set up on that, because Magnitude yeah. does, can do a lot yeah. of damage. Um, but we're gonna do the herb shop here and get like most of our healing items for the rest of the run. Um, and Sapphire very convenient. is actually your last shop in the entire run. That's um, crazy to me. <laughs> we have to do one more later. But this is gonna be most of our healing items for the rest of the run. Yeah, so energy powders play a similar, similar role to potions later on with managing, um, health to set up torrent so those are also extremely valuable all right here we're gonna see a very fancy setup um for an upcoming spinner pass um so he repels specifically on that tile um need to move tile perfectly to grab this candy and then we're gonna teleport back to mauville after swapping our pokemon here infamous desert and, candy yep uh infamous desert candy um Go ahead and look up Desert Candy if you want to see some fun memes from 2015, 2016. Okay, well, I messed it up. That sucks. Yeah. So basically, he was trying to do a run a bike there, but it's really hard because you have to cancel a turn frame and mount the bike at the same time as you run to that tile. It's an extremely hard setup and also yeah, a very, very new addition. Seven frames to stop moving. You have to stop moving and then hit left to get a turn frame and then cancel that turn frame with getting on the bike. And you have seven frames total to do that. It's somewhat similar to the Angelina Pass we mentioned earlier. It's just uh, a tough like bike mount into pass. Yeah, like it's a, it's a very tight window. Because you're doing it while moving. Yeah. I got everything, but I just hit down a little too early. So now we're finally getting back to Brawly, and uh, he is super free at this point because we're overleveled. Mm -hmm. Will you be strengthening Makahita? 
I forget which one is optimal. I strength prefer strength pause. because yeah. if you miss Mudshot, it's a lot worse than missing the range of strength too. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember which one was worse. So the, the trade-off here is strength is a 15 and 16 range, which is like in between 94 and 95%. Mudshot is guaranteed, but it's only 95% to hit. So they're basically equal. But then you also have to do extra inputs to get the Mudshot, and missing Mudshot is worse than missing the range of strength. According to them, at least. Hey, we crit. And, uh, yeah, so Brawly pretty free, but after this we have what I would say is the worst gym in the game. Um, Norman's okay. gym. Pretty much every fight has its own issues, and, uh, Norman just being the, uh, cherry on top, so... It's we'll see how that goes. even worse in Sapphire. At least in this game you can two-shot things. Yeah, you're really on the level for Sapphire. Yeah. They just added they added a bunch of extra trainers in Emerald, basically. Yeah. But they got and rid of Sapphire, Cool Trainer that. Brook, and that's the important one. Yep. But I in, mean, in Sapphire, you have that Delcaddy, and uh, yeah. I, I don't even want to talk about that. Delcaddy is so <laughs> bad. First trainer will have a Swellow. Uh, make sure to Candy wave. Yes. Yep. I got that. <laughs> okay, so that it's a, really like, tricky. everyone has made the mistake here where they forget to candy and it totally screws you over for later. Yeah, it's just a random menu you have to do after Brawly but before Norman's Gym where you yeah, use the candy occurs, and sometimes heal. Usually only happens when you've already elixir and super potioned. And, okay. Go ahead and use that candy. And uh, now we're at level 30 for the gym, which makes I'm confused things why I wasn't better. on Abra there. Oh, because I messed up Ananan Pass. That's or, right. Yeah. Yeah. And then I went into Pokemon and that resets your cursor. Oh, mystery solved. Now, so yeah, it's, is guaranteed people have, to it's generally your cursor defaults to Abra there also. So everyone's rare candy the Abra. Oh, yeah. So we take a very specific path through this uh, gym to fight specific trainers. Um, it's kind of like a choose your own adventure book, but a gym. Um, <laughs> and all the options are awful. Yeah, and everything sucks, so we just choose the ones that suck the least. This fight's fine. You, you, just, you just strength <laughs> twice. This thing, I don't know if it knows moves other than wing attack, but the only move it can use is wing attack. Yeah. It only gives you trouble if it crits and kind of messes up your HP for At later. Full but... HP, double crit is a range. Yeah. But getting crit once with a mid roll is actually quite nice. Okay, actually quite so this is yeah. yeah, with, with protein, it's optimal to strength and then mud shot. Because strength plus mud shot is a very favored range. Yep, that's, and yeah, that's strength is guaranteed, strength. and so it goes for focus punch, but it can't hit us because the strength hit. Nice. If you focus don't have the protein, you have to leave mud shot because strength plus mud shot is not as good of a range, so you, you sometimes have to mud shot twice. Right, so Wave is definitely going to save for this fight, uh, Cool Trainer Journey. Oh, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> I normally have I tried to, to say that. Here. I tried to say that as quickly as I could. So. <laughs> I normally have the revive here, and this fight's like free with the revive. But <laughs> if you don't so, have the revive, yeah, I, I gotta save. Yeah, so oh. she can. This fight's actually like in the top five most likely fights to kill you in the entire. Yeah, time. really. Yeah. It's like Norman is well, no, Tate Liza is the worst, followed by Norman, I think. Um, I'm there with the higher. Through double. Like yeah. Oh, there's a few up there. So this is an extremely Pretty strong Zangoose with Sword Stance and Slash, so uh, crit is very painful. Yep. Um, and it is a range to two shot with Mudshot, a light, slightly more favorable with the Protein, and he got it. So that's maybe Protein yeah. value, you might say. Stay for Norman as well. Yeah, without the Protein, that's no. like a 60 something percent range. 52. And 52, it's that bad. Yeah, yeah it's, it's bad. pretty bad. Well, uh, strength is common <laughs> yeah i mean i knew that but with with the uh with the protein it's like in the 80 percent, i think yeah that's it goes from 52 to 82 yeah. so and now we hope that is if you miss uh, shot. hope we don't get trolled by teeter dance here this fight sucks <laughs> <laughs>
Yep. I have to set up 3x attacks and x speed. Ideally, I get double facade here. Okay, I, so I didn't get double facade. So instead, I want only teeter dances. Alright, so I'm getting the worst possible fight so far, actually. Could yeah. not have gotten oh, worse than that, this. That is quite bad. <laughs> Alright, that's oh, your dance no. there. Shoot, Hopefully he just again. keeps tear dancing until you need to right, uh, heal. Now I need him to facade, because I'm going to heal off the confusion. I'm going to heal off the confusion. You still have your... Uh, I have a full heal, yeah. Full heal as well. Alright, there we go. A nice strength. Um, I'm going to heal here, because crit kills. Yep, that's pretty fair, I would say. Uh, There's... So the, the, the this, is yeah, it's range. awkward. It's awkward. It's a fifty-nine percent range with protein. Um, However, you don't really want to one-shot it in this situation because your HP isn't ideal. To, but if you to heal fight the here slacking. and take damage, then your HP is ideal. Okay, well now you get crit. Now you're gonna yeah. have to. Oh, have so to that's the other again. problem is he has slash, and you know that can just mess up your HP setup. Well, this strat kind of banks on you getting the range, unfortunately. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, but that's if I wanna unfortunate. Play, if I want to play around crit, I have to do it this way. Now, you may as well water gun here, because you have to heal, right? Mm. Well, now he could set up on Lanoon if he one-shot, but he didn't get it this time. That's a pretty bad fight. But now he's guaranteed to get a good setup as long as no crit. <laughs> yeah. You guys know what the strength range is on the noon with protein by any chance? Uh, um, uh, I would just I think get he's, skulking that. I think you still need, want a mud shot. It's not worth it, but I'm just curious yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. Uh, so now this fight, we rock smash and we hope for a defense drop. We didn't crit, which is important. We got the defense drop, and he should use counter here most of the time. And counter max can do is uh, 64. And so since I was at 67, that was a crazy roll. Oh, I have protein. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when you get the if you get the defense drop on turn one, you can just double strength if you win. Yeah. It is so I have to throw five, so I have to save for Shelly. Lovely. So the HP oh, setup's no. super important because counter can oh, kill you, you if you're too low HP, but also mm -hmm. you want to be at good HP at the end of the fight for the upcoming fights. Yeah, you um, want to so here. The outcome you, from you this was actually pretty good. The Shelly wave. You're good. Sorry? You get you, you level up to 33 and you get 19 health, max rolls 18. Yeah, but I can get crit. Yeah. Is it <laughs> do I save to play around 12% miss range into 50% fight into 1 in 16 crit. <laughs> uh -oh. The I answer is yes, because yeah, if I die, then I go all the way back die. to yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's really that's bad to thing. die. That's what the revive is for. The revive but come on, don't you want to make it exciting? Save for the... <laughs> Wait, did you end up getting an extra revive? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, yeah. hey, that no first revive. try Norman, no, that's, I thought you that's were actually... Sell the chuckle. Yeah. First try Norman is actually really good, so... Yeah, Norman is very likely to kill you. Yeah. It is a, an absolute mid-game wall. So we're gonna finally get around to teaching Surf, which is kind of be, gonna be our carrying move for the rest and of the this run. This is basically our final move set. Uh, we teach Dive at the very end, but we never use it. Um, well, unless you run out of Surf, so on uh, Archie. So <laughs> okay, oh, well, we're gonna be good and not run out of Surfs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you say that, but sometimes you don't have control over the situation. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes true double is true. Yeah, that won't happen though, I believe. Yeah. Just, we just fight by Watson, anyway. just standing there in the middle of town. Ready to give us thunder. Contemplating ball. his loss. Contemplating nice run a bike here. Self destruct. Talk to Steven for a little bit, and uh, we got a nice uh, tight biking section coming up. Oh god, I'm so scared for this section. Nah, you're chilling. You got this. Yeah, so we actually can run. Here. We run below 
that guy to make him look up. It's kind of interesting um, because he only looks up and right. And we gotta talk to Roxanne. We get this call a much earlier in the game, but we fought Brawly very late. All right, past the scary part. And this this biking's really hard there. There's a the little zigzag. So I made I did something I'd never done before. That was a tile too far to the right for that first trainer pass. And I was like, all right, I'm holding full left here. I don't care. <laughs> Fair play, honestly. They do not have very friendly pokes to go up against. Yeah. Especially the, the way to do that health. optimally is you go up those stairs. You have to go up. You have a two tile window to go exactly one tile left, and then go back up again. Um. And so if you, if the game, if you hit left for too briefly and it's like in between tiles, then you just go straight up into that trainer's vision. And then after that, there's another trainer where you have, there, you have to go to a specific row. And if you go one tile too high, he sees you. If you go one tile too low, you bonk. Didn't also, so that PB very stressful. Him? What was that? Didn't your old PB hit him? I remember you crit him at some stage. <laughs> it wasn't a PB, I can tell you that. Oh, but yes, yeah, I, I did get a run that was like during my 229 grind where I was like, I hit him, I was like, you can't win this fight, and then I crit strength. <laughs> yeah, that, that fight almost always kills you, so... Yeah, because he has, he has a Breloom with like Mega Drain or whatever. And Swampert does not like grass moves. So especially in a or marathon setting, types. biking one tile away from that guy's vision is like pretty nerve-wracking. Quite scary. Uh, uh, so these have... Carvanas, the optimal thing to do is actually to mud shot them. Uh, but if you mud shot, then you are about 1.75% to die, and that's too scary for us. So we're just gonna surf instead. Which can't yeah, miss. very scared. Gonna be an interesting little bit of spinner tech coming up as well. Um, based on the spinner cycle, we might get a really quick pass. Let's see. Hey, we got it. I'm too scared. Yeah. So you see, he looked up right, that right, pause. <laughs> right after that was he not passed. Safe. <laughs> that was safe. Wait, did he spin down? I didn't see it. Wait, no, he he matter. was he was down he, already. Even if he spins down, it's still safe. So he he had to spin as before he paused, um, if he was gonna spin while he was passing. And yeah. so once he checked and he was still looking down, it was a safe pass. And then he looked up right as you were already past him. Yeah. He spun as soon as he possibly could after I passed. Yeah. That's how you know it was safe. Alright, this is an 88% range. Alright, what are we saving for? Well, Shelly has been known to kill many a run. Let's just say that. That's, that's why I got the revive, is, <laughs> you know for safety on these fights, and then I burned it on the first fight by getting triple bite and I missed a tackle. Yep. 1 in 64 and a 1 in 20. And I lost the speed tie on the last turn. Good fun. It has been known to happen. I guess well, Cast Form here. Cast Form is a pretty useful doubles partner for the mandatory double battles coming up. We name him G because that stands for gangster. <laughs> The actual reason for that is because we want our our Marsh Tomp and our uh, Cast Form to be named different things. Because there are some moves where it's like so and so confused A or whatever. If they're both named A, then you don't know which one it was. It I've never had that come up personally. It's very rare for that. To I've happen. had it come up. It's like whirlpool confusion on one of the double fights, but like it's like so rare that it really doesn't matter yeah. that much. It doesn't really honest. matter, but it also like loses no time. So. Yeah. The actual awful awesome thing is to nickname your uh your mudkip something other than A. Because you have to wait for um for no encounter minute anyway. And Amnesia's good. Ideally he just does that again. Yeah, so rival three here, um, actually hey. pretty free because uh, we got the protein, and the protein is a god item, despite what your uh, favorite Ironmon streamer might tell you. And because Slugma didn't use Harden, strength just kills it. 
Okay, and because I have 13, the this is guaranteed. Is percent you can use supersonic. <laughs> Alright, so this Pelipper is guaranteed to use Protect on turn 1. So I'm just swapping to Surf because it has less text. And also to preserve strengths. Your strength count doesn't really matter. But there are new scenarios where it does. Just enough and surfs. Though, typical right. Pelper right. fashion, spamming protect, you know, annoying you. Yeah, That's a really I crit. good crit, though. I, I crit, so it evens out. That is one of the best crits in the game. As someone really good crit. Really the best crit in the game is on uh, on nose pass because it saves like six turns. Yeah, that's like saves a full minute if you get it at the right time. Yeah. So now we're gonna have a section that's a lot of biking, a lot of menuing. It's kind of a oh, whole that section is scary when you're resting. Whole bunch, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but before we do anything, we're going to be ducking into the uh, Fortree Center to set our teleport point. And that's going to be our last teleport before we get fly. Yeah, the reason um, why Abra is used for this and we teleport around is because we can't actually fly until we beat Winona, which is the sixth gem. Most other games you unlock fly at, like around the third gem or something. So. Yeah, and so teleport kind of gives us, gives us fly without a uh, restriction. To one location and we kind of just use that to get around really quickly and also um it allows us to do mount pyre here before winona's gym um which helps with our levels really nicely yep doing winona's marsh taunt is very annoying uh but There's instead even we're... our intriguing battle technique here instead we're just going to go and do all the mount pyre stuff first get swampert and then we'll go back and do winona Oh, there was a revive there. You could have gotten. I should have mentioned that. Yeah, it's fine. I need that now. Just don't die. Forehead. Oh, that's true. Nice pass. Couple extra steps, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Going around the left there, just because if you run an extra tile down there, it can really screw you up. So. Fair play. That cross is very laggy. In terms of when your inputs register, it's just very uncomfortable. I feel like uh, because of the speed changes. Yeah. Another candy. So we have just enough candies to level up to level thirty-six, giving us Swampert before the upcoming Mount Pyre battles. Another nice run of bike there. Uh, he's skipping the person barrier. It's a questionable decision, but I don't no, know if you could uh, justify that. Wave. Oh, it's actually so laggy. Yeah, that that load line just there, right before you get to this section, oh, is very disorienting. Yeah, it's because um, there's so many spinners on the screen, okay. I believe. The yeah, game lags a little bit. That was just me being bad. A little bit of a rerun manip there. So we're going to see a lot of menuing here. Going to be candying up to uh, Swampert. Gonna carry us through the uh, seventh gym. Frozen is safer on average, allows us to use Outrage and conserve some area laces. But yeah. most yeah. often, it's... you only really need it for very specific things, like on Wallace main, not Wallace, sorry, um, Juan. And usually, with that fight, you end up uh, banking on. Oh, changing strategy depending on whether you get a two turn or three turn outrage, whether you want to risk it or not. Yeah, it's very so... important. Don't teach shockwave to Abra by accident. Yep, then your run is dead. Yeah, we've all we've all been there. But yeah, the main idea of Persim is you use outrage later as your Quaza, and it allows you to just kind of spam it instead of uh, having to full heal and stuff. But it is slower to get persims. But yeah, it, it takes some time to get it, so fair fair decision not to get it. And I like the strats of uh, chain adapting whether you get three turn or two turn outrage. Anyway, right there I got on and off the bike because the whole audio lag thing on screen transitions. Yeah, so right here I'm going to get off the bike on the screen transition. 
Yeah, so getting off the bike oh, actually it changes it changes the music immediately. Um, but uh, if you're going through a loading area, it, it takes a while to load it, and that's what causes the lag. And select a bit too early. These first two fights in Mount Pyre are nice and easy one-shots. However, this I died to this Carbon on Sapphire. All my oh, best run ever. Yeah. yeah, that is a Sapphire moment. Yeah. This upcoming double fight can be very problematic. One, due to Cast Form having terrible special attack, although I'm not yeah, sure if it's too terrible. This is where we find out how good our cast form is. Ideally, it one-shots the Carvana. Um, it needs pretty good special attack in order to one-shot the Carvana. Additionally, Whalemer can use Water Pulse, and Water Pulse has a 30% chance to confuse. Is it 30%? And... That was 20. I thought it... Oh, is it? I don't know. Regardless, I, you, you can might get be confused. Right. And... He can also confuse both your Pokémon, <laughs> if his random AI decides it. You can yeah. also use Whirlpool, which is a lot of text. So ideally our cast form is good special attack and not minus speed. That, yeah. That's really the stuff that matters. His defenses also kind of matter, but not that much. Cast form has 42 speed. It is a speed tie with uh, Tropius in the upcoming Four Tree Gym. And that's a, it's a very interesting strat, which we'll get to when we're there. Hey, we've got good special attack. Very yeah, nice. nice cast form. Killing killing yeah. that Carvana is very fast. Whirlpool is a slow move, but it's better than getting confused. Yeah, we can't really do anything about cast form stats because you get it after the fight, and it wouldn't really be worth it to do so anyway. It wouldn't even be so, worth it to minute, but even if we so, could. So, so we just take whatever we get and hope it, you know, has the right stats to be a little bit faster. But if even if it doesn't, it usually doesn't matter too much. Yeah, so double fights uh, definitely have a little bit more lag than normal fights. Um, mm -hmm. So it One can be a little bit. One shot with strength. Yeah, you can tell this one. That's very unlikely. I, think. No. I don't think so. I think I think it always. Oh, yeah, I think fight. I was thinking sure of a different one. Yeah. Served if there's two. Uh, yeah. Pokemon oh, still that's left what I was thinking. Is uh, range to kill Zubat. That's right, now that I think about it, it's just because I'm so used to missing the Carvana range. You have to risk these grass tiles here. You're pretty paper not to get anything, but unfortunate. Happens. Classic shop it. Okay. So we're gonna grab this right hand me and uh, go right back to uh, Fortree with teleport. Yep. Now, those ladders are really interesting. If you uh, if you bonk on the bottom of them and then dismount the bike, you can actually run up the first step of them. Even though you can't run on them normally, up the first step you can. It's sort of like going into the tall grass. Right, here we got another double battle. This one can all, like all the double battles in this run are pretty bad, honestly. The, the, the two in, uh, in uh, Aqua Hideout are free, basically. Aside from those two. Yeah, this one can either gain you or lose you a lot of time, um, yeah. depending on what happens with Pelopur, uh, what happens with Swallow. The best crits in the game is once killing this Doduo, cast form, getting the crit on uh, Pelopur. I need my cast form to not die. <laughs> <laughs> that is ideal because you do not I have, have no revive. revive. <laughs> Yeah, if Cast Form dies, you actually can't really do anything about it. It might be worth I healing it, I didn't think honestly. about that until this moment. It's not worth healing yet. Um. Twello can be very annoying with its AI. Yeah, I might heal it here, honestly. Alright, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, good. Hit Swampert. That, that was a lot annoying. of HP, though. Wow. <laughs> is... I'm, I'm going to heal here. You can yeah, heal on Cast Form's turn here. Yeah. Because yeah. Surf kills. Surf's actually range at full health with Zatu, but I can do this. Yeah, 
Yeah, so he's setting up Swampert to specific HP for the next fight. Um, Ideally, I don't die to the next fight. However, you're very favored to die to the next fight. Or you get my practice run where on turn one I got Rage Elite <laughs> Miss and then I crit strength. Oh no, you spoiled, you spoiled the joke of, oh no, he died. <laughs> Sorry. <Aww. laughs> yeah, this thing is a three shot with strength and Rage Elite two shots. So Hang on. Ball. Wait, if we don't have a revive, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Whatever will we do? Right. Let's hope no, he hopefully cast form has good speed, because getting out sped can sometimes get you killed. Yeah. I outspeed the Whalemer, so... Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely, I outspeed that. So, yeah. the HP he has now is actually really good for Winona, but oh, unfortunately okay. he's gonna, he's not gonna crit, so this he'll have to, uh, to yeah. That was a couple health too high to come the, out of Winona, The fastest though, outcome... The fastest outcome is uh, you would actually crit on that fight and don't die. Uh, so you don't actually have to set up HP for Winona, yeah, and you don't th have to swap is, out. This is what almost always happens. Yeah. Bear can this... be the correct thing. Uh, energy powder. Yeah, fortunately... I only have one powder left. Oh, that's kind of a thing. Generation 3, count. rare candy, survive you. Wait, you're uh, meant to powder first turn with that Oh, strat. I'm dumb. <laughs> I always do potion strats. <laughs> yeah, uh, this this can, this can still, still work. Um, it's fine. Yeah, I, I'm fine. Yeah. Skarmory has to be I, kind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I just do Skarmory. I always do potion strats. So for yeah, this I, fight, you you either you need to end up with Torrent because you need to kill Skarmory. Usually, what you do is you revive and then use a potion so that you're at enough health. Yeah, so there's two strats. So the fight. One of them is use potion before the fight. Is. And the other is you energy powder on turn one. Um, and I kind of crossed my wires, but... Alright, safeguard, it's good. Aerial Ace would be very good there, but unfortunately yeah. did not get it. Anything but Parish Song is what you want here, usually. Yeah, yeah. Per it's one in six to use Parish Song, and that's the bad move. Yeah, unfortunately, Parish we song... don't actually one-shot this Tropius, but fortunately, it's stupid and uses Solar Beam. Or we crit. I think Parish Song loses like a minimum of like 30 seconds. Yeah, it loses That's a lot of time. Pretty nice crit though. It's it also makes crit. Altaria a range because we nullify one of our X attacks, which yeah, we, we have set to up swap out, power which power gets up. rid of the X attack. 2% supersonic? Would be very annoying. Yeah, so Pelipper oh, usually we will just spam Protect here, which we kind yeah. of abuse to set up. Every turn, it's 2% to use Supersonic, otherwise it will spam protect until you attack into it. Or if you're in kill range, you'll use one. Yeah, so I still need to take damage. This thing can either hit me or use Sand Attack. All right, good. Sand Attack, yeah, as we've Perfect. spoken about earlier in this run, is undesirable. Uh, crit is not that ideal, is but I think, I think I think this actually works this, out. This is enough. Is two health more? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually perfect health, just about. Yeah. I wonder if it's possible to have torrent and also so, get an air cutter crit. I don't know. So usually, uh, like your XL, HP yeah. here would be very a specific setup, but because it was kind of an abnormal setup, um, the crit actually helped. I think. Yeah, I'm not 100 percent confident crit would have done enough. I, it would have been close. Borderline. 39 health being the maximum you can exit this fight with to still have Torrent for Mexi 2. Yeah, we 100% absolutely no question need Torrent for this next section. If we don't have Torrent, like, the run is basically over. That's how important it is. And yeah. stalling for Torrent can be a bit of a pain as well. Given the yes, but you, you always do it if you need to. Yeah, because the Maxi 2 fight without Torrent is like it's like almost unwinnable. It's like such a nightmare. It's awful. You don't one shot the mighty Anna. It uses scary face. You're slower than things. So now we're gonna get called by that Scott guy again. You know, the normal time loss. No spin. Pretty nice. So nice little trick here. We don't actually need to run to bike this guy because we need to repel it anyway. So we just use it there. Yep. Uh, 
this section is very fun for mock bike movement, and by very fun, it's you have to be tile perfect in a specific spot, and if you don't, then you hit optionals. No hiker, unfortunate. In that little so as scene. I found out not that long ago, uh, you can actually take two extra steps. Yeah, as long you... as it's at full speed and frame perfect torque. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you can go one tile out of the way, which is two extra steps, and as long as you're still frame perfect from there on, then you can still pass it. But that's a very so specific a type of oh, whatever. So this is one of the hardest movement sections in the game, I would say. Um, it's also, it's also, there's almost no randomness in, in this section. Yeah, uh, so just, it's, it's a tiny bit of randomness on the maxi fight, but it's almost nothing. So this is like, this is a great pure execution. To how good you are at mock biking. Yeah. A, uh, my gold is a 750 for this split, but a good split is like eight flat. Or seven yeah, that's, that was 750 probably with a crit, crit on maxi, yeah. if I had to guess. Yeah. Yeah, no, 750 is insane. A good a good split is like sub eight oh three ish for me. Eight oh three is everyone has everyone has yeah. different thresholds. Yeah, There's how many times you bonk really? Because in that last room, if you don't bonk once, you're you're a god. There's, yeah, there's that just no other, no other just way to put hard. it. All right, so that'd be perfect here. Hey. Yeah, so this spot, um, if you're actually one tile off or a little bit slow, that guy will see you. So, um, very tight movement and this is my favorite very nerve-wracking on your game. This poor guy got put on guard duty right next to the magma pool and he's complaining about it. I love this <laughs> guy. I, I actually never read that. My left ear is burning up. Yep. <laughs> oh, really sad story for this guy. This is why you don't join criminal organizations, kids. Yeah, this specifically. And then his text <laughs> at the end, I'm, I'm getting cold. heat exhaustion. Oh no. Is they team magma offers health insurance? Absolutely not. <laughs> Don't Don't well, they're in Japan, right? They probably have some sort of national health care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's Gen 5 where you gotta watch out. <laughs> Now, yeah, other than really stringent biking, uh, this section would be if if we're in GDQ where you'd start reading donations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a really <laughs> good first uh, section of this room. This yeah, is it, I've probably... Been perfect, except for I took one fewer step than I was supposed to, so uh, a trainer walked one tile to see me. And other than that, I've been perfect up to this point. I would go as far to say that this room is the hardest biking in the game, but... Uh, uh, I think I think top floor sky, uh, pillar? sky pillar might have it. Yeah, beat. yeah, they're the pretty similar. Sky though. Pillar. This one at least it's like in sections, so like I per one... yeah, I personally think top floor yeah. sky pillar is harder, uh, just because there's a lot of one tile movements you have to make, and it's really hard to move exactly one tile on the mock bike at full speed. Yeah. The free doubles right, so game. Normally, I'd be looking at my cast form stats here. However, because my cast form is at half health, I don't need to bother because it's always dying to earthquake and psychic and stuff. So it doesn't actually matter what its stats are. Yeah. Even if it somehow died between now and Tate and Liza, you would use a revive on it, which kills it to half anyway. So. Will you get wow. the max revive here? Or I suppose you'll just save. No, I'm gonna buy revives and. I'm just gonna buy like I meant, three I meant for Maxi too, but yeah. Oh, I'll yeah, save yeah. for Maxi too. Yeah. 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 It's just not worth getting out of Torrent. <laughs> yeah, the fights in this section besides Maxi 2 are all just kinda grindy. Choose the as right move. As one long shot. as you manage your moves correctly, because you have you have one extra surf, or two extra surfs for this entire section if you choose not to use them. Uh, you, I serve, because I have two extra surfs, I serve two Zubats. Uh, because surf is faster than strength. But as long as, as long as you're making sure that you have enough surfs, then you're all good. 
So I guess we can go ahead and talk about Maxi too. Um, leads uh, Mighty now with Intimidate, so physical attacks are out the window, but um, we kind of use Torrent here to uh, one-shot that and uh, kind of abuse how the AI heals to take down Crobat in two shots with Surf. Seems that was like my um, best ever. Yeah. Yeah. Hideout, by that the was, way. That was amazing, yeah. <laughs> well done. That was bombless. Yeah, you did The only mistake I made is having that first trainer walk one tile of the city. Really well done. So I lost four frames. Or I saved four frames, but lost 16 from him taking a step. So I lost 12 frames over perfect, basically. Now, speaking of health insurance, I doubt that Team Magma are that rich, given the fact that Maxi by this point is still using super potions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which kind of ruins his strat here. But this yeah, just it's, makes it a it's funny how it works out. Us. So this Crobat is faster than us, and we don't one-shot it, which would normally spell disaster. I'm going to wait until after I hopefully don't die here before I keep talking. So that yep. would be funny. Let's hold our breath a little bit. All right, so we tank the hit, and now... He could just kill us right now. He, he, wing attack would just kill us, but he's coded to use a super potion, and we kill through the super potion. <laughs> yeah. If it was a hyper, well. Yeah, if he healed the ball, we'd be screwed. When when I learned this fight for the run, like I was so confused <laughs> on how this works because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense from the AI's perspective, but it just it just heals, you know. It's, yeah. It just heals. And you think, oh gee, we probably want to heal this, but no, we, we just keep this health for the next section, because nothing outspeeds us, we one-shot everything. Yeah, we're feeling invincible, honestly. Until oh, Tate lines up. Until Declan. Or until Declan, rather, yeah. yeah. Uh, he who shall not be named. But we just did. Forcing <laughs> runners to learn new strats. No. Um, I only have one energy powder left, but I have three potions, I think, so I should be fine. Yeah, yeah. you're probably fine. Uh, the I only really want, I need... really want to keep that energy powder for, uh, for Archie. So I'm Archie, yeah. to use potions at all if I can. There is a super just above Slightpool, right? There it is. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, I know specifically what is used in the speed run route and nothing else. <laughs> I mean, yeah, worst case scenario, you could fly back too, right? But yeah, yeah. If I if I had to, I just fly and grab a couple of air defenders. Unfortunately, yeah. Lost Team only sells hypers, and we need the supers. The reason why energy powders are the problem is because we need again torrent. We need to heal to very specific HP values. Jester, you see how I'm actually going diagonal to fly places? No, I don't. I don't <laughs> see. <laughs> it's, a, it's a trick called holding two directions at once. It's uh, pretty technical, but um, I think with a little practice, you'll understand it. My oh, come on. I can't handle that. Yeah, we have a couple tiles here without a rappel up, and you're pretty likely to not get ink. Uh, uh, it's a classic <laughs> tentacle. Yeah. At least it is not on the uh, route beside Morville, at which point you are likely to be outsped by certain level tentacles. Yeah, you, you can... There are tentacles that are high enough to encounter, because they're higher levels than you, so they go through the repel, and, uh, and they I... outspeed you, because tentacles are fast, and Swamper... Swamper is many things, but fast is not one. Yeah, I have seen people lose runs to wild tentacles before. It's uh, You're supposed not to unheard of, that's them. for sure. Shout out to Icy. Uh, so, wait, if you skipped the Master Ball, how are you going to catch Rayquaza? Well, that's a great question. Uh, we're just going to be really good at the game. Yeah, yeah true. Call. That's probably what's going to happen. Except my offsets have been finicky. Uh, up oh, that's we'll see what true, happens. yeah. We're going to catch Rayquaza in a Pokeball, but... Uh, it's a very tight frame window. It's kind of chatty. Every every oh. failure loses 45 seconds, 50 seconds, something like that. Yeah, so if you're not confident about it, it's it's always worth it to get the Master yeah, get, Ball. Getting but... the Master Ball loses, like, 
I don't remember, like on the order of 30 seconds if you're also saving 20, stats. 20, I think. Yeah. Hey, well, are you counting saving for stats? Like saving and resetting to get stats? Yeah, I think so. Get my plus stats. Basically, unless you're confident that you can get Ravenip on the first try, Master Ball is faster. However, what kind of streamer would I be if I didn't go with a cool strat? Yeah. Exactly. And that's why you're gonna get double Blizzmiss on champ. Because <laughs> it's a cool strat. So all the fights here in Uncle Hideout, totally free. A couple of double fights. Um, kind of annoying, but just kind of yeah, mash through them. just die to tor Torrent Sir. Yep. Yeah, and so you 100% need Torrent for Maxi, otherwise it's awful, and you also need Torrent for this section. Otherwise you'll run out of Surfs. I have run out of both Surfs and Strengths on the Gold Ad before, by the way. And you yeah, just died. It... <laughs> Admin Matt. Mudshot can't hit and you're forced to rock smash. <laughs> 20 power. And it's 0.25 times effective. <laughs> yeah, so fortunately at the end of this section there's a max elixir on the ground and we just use that to restore um, right after this section. And we use, I, I don't see how many roots we have left. Do you have one left? I assume you do. Yeah, he hasn't used I many have, roots. I have two left, I believe. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, yeah. I might even have You might not even buy it. Yeah, you may as well just not buy Hypers then, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'll check that. That's right. I think you might I know three, I, I used one I on Norman. I'm just trying to think if I used another one anymore. I don't think I did, because I powdered for, uh... Yeah, I have three. Yeah, I would gladly trade uh, it so that I could have three powders in one group here. Yeah, powders yeah, are generally yeah. more valuable, but um, you do need at least one root later on, so. Now is incoming one of the scariest fights for especially runners not familiar with Tate and Liza strats. It yeah, is so. Declan. Yeah, Tate so. and Liza, for those who don't know, is a double battle gym fight. And they are high level. And they hurt. Luckily, we have Surf. And it's super effective against three or three out of the four of their pokes. But you have to do a lot of finicky stuff in order to win the fight. And generally the way it works is if anything goes wrong, then you lose the fight. One crit wrong? Even a crit in your yeah. favor, bear in yeah, mind. If you crit on the wrong turn and kill something too early, yeah. then you usually lose the fight. The HP setup is like so thought out that you need a specific number of turns of getting hit. So it's just like there's so many ways it can go wrong, it just becomes one of the worst fights. Ideally you wanna be in between like ninety seven and hundred thirteen HP going into the fight, which we hopefully get from this fight. I need him to hit me. Dragon like Dragon Rage is the move I really want to see here. Yeah, if he spams Perfect. Leer, that's actually right. very bad for you, so... Yeah, so this is basically an optimal fight. Because uh, this, this gives us perfect awful. HP for Tate and Liza. Yeah, and actually the protein helps here, because he's not guaranteed to die to strength. Yeah, without three. the protein, uh, three strengths is a range, and not a super amazing one at that. You can actually just go straight past that spinner. She can't spin in time, but I wasn't 100% confident that she was looking right. Yeah, I've seen way too many people hit that spinner on good runs, so I think a safe pass there is very warranted. Because crits go through Intimidate as well, you can also one-shot Declan. Um, yeah, and that could be really so, bad too, because he'll be at full HP. To, I don't need to buy Hypers. Uh, I HP strengths are the worst, heals, but they whatever. can be bad. Yeah, so buying some revives, one of those we're definitely going to use. Um, on the I normally buy like 50 X attacks there, but I didn't do that this time because I actually might need some money in order to buy energy powders later. So provided nothing weird happens with his HP between now and Tate and Liza, he's going to be doing uh, Strat 5, we call it, but it's pretty much the standard Tate and Liza Strat. Yeah, the Strats um, are numbered weirdly because they're organized by HP threshold, and the best HP threshold is like the lowest one. 
and like something like 80 percent 85 percent of the time you'll be using that strat so that's actually interesting it's actually i think it's faster to actually fight these as two single battles um i might be wrong about that but the main reason we fight it as a double battle is because by splitting the exp we just barely miss level 46 on swampert yeah, uh, and at level 46, Swampert learns Earthquake, so we'd have to deny teaching that as well. It's also <laughs> safer to fight them in single battles. Um, it's a, yes, because, it's also safer to fight them in single battles. Because yeah. uh, they, can actually one, they can actually kill a cast form here, which makes you, you know, if you don't have extra revives, it's a real problem, but you might have to menu and revive, which is slow. Yeah, that's, a, that's the main reason I buy extra revives. I need one revive for Tate and Liza. That's just the standard part of the strat. And I bought two extras just in case. And one of them is specifically for that fight in Cast One Dice. Yeah, and so what really we do is not it... another place to use the other one, but in case something comes up that I'm not thinking of. I, I can use it in uh in Elite Four, actually, if I'm not gonna deposit my Swamper. Yep. Yeah, and basically what we do in Tate and Liza, um, just no matter what strat you're using. You basically bait them to attack your other Pokemon while we set up Swampert into um, with X items and getting them into Torrent, and then we just you know sweep with Swampert. Yeah. So the, the way the strats work in this game is we exploit the way that their AI works, and the way their AI works is if they have if they see that they have a move that can kill one of your Pokemon. They will always use that move and always target the Pokemon that dies to it. Um, and we exploit that by just having a rotating cast of HM slaves in our second spot in order to eat their attacks while we buff up our Swampert. Because in this game, if you want to give Swampert an X speed or an X special, you actually have to do it on Swampert's turn. You can't do it on the, the second Pokemon's turn. Um, and so yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be basically just be baiting the Zatu into constantly using Psychic on our slaves and play it all into constantly using Earthquake. We really all want that up. Zatu to keep using Psychic because its other moves can essentially end the fight right then and there. Yeah, yeah, mind, if it doesn't it use Psychic, it generally uses Calm Mind. And Sunny Day, which is... Ooh, that's oh, a yeah, loss. Considering... Zatu has the Sunny Day? I didn't know that actually. Yeah. Yep. And your your whole strategy is based around using Surf, and yeah. Sunny Day obviously like nerfs the power of uh, Surf pretty badly. And so. it also makes it so Soul Rock one shot you a Solar Beam instantly. Yep. Yep. So Which is especially bad if you're not in Torrent. Yeah. So yeah, just keeping in mind, we're gonna set up an X speed and an X spec, and we're gonna try to get our Swamper into Torrent. And that is the goal of this fight. And that's what this health is generally built around. Yeah, Other that's why we want this health, because at this health, two earthquakes puts us in Torrent. Usually. And there are yeah. other strats, which involve uh, sending out the Talo earlier. Unfortunately, uh, they I, revolve around Taylor. not getting ancient power from Ladol. I can't remember Play what they supposed to send out here. The bird. Yeah, it's a bird, yeah. 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 Into and the so... earthquake. Now we just tank this one, and the bird gets to stay alive another turn, giving us an extra turn to bait out attacks. Bring our cast form oh. back up. And now, something that happened on this turn is we can get Ancient Power Boot, Omni Boost from Clay Doll. We're really hoping that doesn't happen. Alright, we got Psychic. Good. It's like 5% to happen. Yeah, so Claydol's favored to use Earthquake because it'll hit both Pokemon, but once the bird comes out, that kind of skews the equation, so it uses those other moves. If you crit Claydol on that turn, you lose because you're not in Torrent yet. You specifically need Earthquake to hit Small Bird here to put you in Torrent. So Zatu is a range with uh, one hit out of Torrent and one hit in Torrent, 93%-ish, I believe. Yeah, and then uh, Lunatone is also a 94% range. So we're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, losing runs to that Lunatone is a uh, very painful experience indeed. I'm 
Charlotte lost to run to Luton at some point, but I don't. I can't specifically remember ever losing. A it's run such a rare thing. It's it's like it's like rival three, but even more rare, you know. Yeah. Because that means you have to get past rival three, right? <laughs> oh yeah. come on! <laughs> Did you miss it? I'm so sorry. Oh no. That's the last thing that can go curse, wrong. ladies and gentlemen. Oh. And yeah, <laughs> you're in kill range of Lunatone Psychic there, so there's nothing you can do. You're yeah, just dead. It's just over if you miss that That's range. That's no fun. Well, yeah, we, had, we have to do it all again. Estimate in shambles. To be fair, everything had been going a bit smoothly until now. Uh, it happens. I'm 100% sure about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just... We died to There's nothing time. you can do about that. Yeah. That's why we save before the fight. Exactly. However, in a speed run, that would be run over just like that. <laughs> yeah. Most, it's actually recommended that if you're learning, like, until you're getting, you know, pretty good times, save for this fight. Not yeah. only just because it's likely to kill you, it's also really easy to make mistakes on this fight. Um... And if you ever make a mistake, you basically die. So just save. Give yourself a second try. Yeah, if you're new also, sometimes something weird can happen in the fight, which is technically recoverable, but you kind of have to figure it out on the fly. Because you kind of have to know ahead of time what the thing is. It's hard to see the path. Exactly. So definitely it's so deep in the Are you supposed though. to powder a root to recover? I can't remember. I think it's uh, root. Root, yeah. Okay. Because then Earthquake Psychic just kills you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And now we just hope everything goes well. Oh, I'm on. back on ads. Uh, you did you did more damage to Exatu this time, which is a good sign. Did I? I think so. Barely. Yeah, last time it looked like a bit of a iffy roll. Okay, well. Oh my god. I'm Wait, did you miss the Zachi range? This is not how you normally talk. die to this. <laughs> these ranges are super favored. So. It's so okay, like, the, the. You missed the, the 90. The marathon was running ahead of time. We just gotta, we're correcting that right now. Missed the 94%, and now we missed the 92%. See, so this is on individual runs. It's salt crushing. Yeah. It's like, it's like back runs to frequently die. <laughs> to this Waves fight. just replaying our collective PTSD over and over right now. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, in Sapphire, this fight is a lot worse because the AI targets are randomly, so you can't you can't actually exploit them attacking your your slaves. It's uh... yeah. Yeah, even though they have four Pokemon in this one, and in Sapphire they only have two. Sapphire is actually a lot worse. Yep. You know, you know, in this game there are like seven different strategies um, that you have prepared depending on HP values and stuff. In Sapphire, there's like thirty. You can't write them down. Yeah. You, you just gotta play that fight by feel, by understanding how the AI works. You gotta read Wave's thesis paper on it. Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I have a. Uh, I have a whole, I think, seven-page document on how the Titan Liza fight works in Sapphire. That's why I won't run Sapphire. Pretty good that choice, honestly. <laughs> well, why would you run Sapphire when you could run Emerald? That's the thing. That's true. Okay, Zatu guaranteed dies from here. <laughs> yeah. That first roll was really good. Tied twice to Tate and Liza from missing ranges. Can we make it three times? Yeah, you're, like, you're more likely to die to a crit. Yeah, it's triple L. Let Lunatone decide. I will find out judged on your reactions, I guess, because <laughs> I'm still far behind. <laughs> I hate this game. Did you miss There's it? There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. No, I'm fucking oh, with oh. you. <laughs> oh, you baited us. <laughs> nice crit. I was like, there's no way. Just... <laughs> well, all right. There goes sub 240, almost certainly. Yeah, through the wall, though. 
Um, and there's only a couple more scary fights left in the run, so that's that's pretty good. It's okay. Marathon was running too fast. Just getting it back in line. good point it was a bit but, fast but i think uh hopefully i gave a good demonstration on why tate and liza sucks <laughs> speaking of fights that suck we have another double battle coming up right now yeah and like <laughs> well, the craziest right. thing there is i didn't even get the, the outcomes that normally kill you on that fight like the most common way to die to that fight is getting earthquake crit yeah, so here's the part of the game that when you were kids, uh, people told you you could go in the rocket ship and catch Deoxys, but it was a lie. Um. <laughs> okay, I have just barely enough help here. So I need to be in torrent, but also, which the maximum torrent at this level is like 45, 44, I think. But then you also need to be like at five. least 31 HP at this point. So it's a it's a very narrow window. Which is why it's very narrow to have good HP for Dane Liza. Yeah. Although being too low is better than being too high. Oh, Definitely. actually no, if you're just barely above, you can stall a turn on Numel, and it'll generally give you some. Uh, 51 that's the optimal health, the t highest in turn. Yeah. 51 health at, li at level uh, 45. I can't speak. Yeah. 51 yeah. health at level 45, which is uh, 48 health at level 44, is optimal. Yeah, potions are this as good as gold though. right now to, to set up if you're in trouble. So. Yeah, this is why potion count is really important for Tate and Liza and for this, because if you're at like, if you're at like 20 health at this point, then you can potion and you're good, but healing 50 is too much. So that's why the potion count is really important. But luckily, we're just at an HP that's good to go in without healing. So now we're going to be a reckless go-getter and fight these three guys. And oh no, we have to fight them all in a row. What are we going to do? We're going to start going to press A a bunch <laughs> of times. Yeah, we're going to hit A. <laughs> yeah, Surf and Strength is basically Swampert's core moveset. Swampert gets really bad moves, actually, unless you're going out of your way to get Ice Beam, but Ice Beam's really far out of the way. I guess we never really talked about the Mudkip we manip here. It's a naughty Mudkip with plus attack, so um, very strong yeah. physical attacker, but also has, very good special attack IV, so... Yes, it has 23 also. attack IV and 30 special attack IV and 29 speed. Um, you could get a better kit, but... And so the, the attack... Longer. Yeah, the attack is not amazing at 23. It's really good, uh, but you want you would want it higher than that. If you could get... So there is some meme routing that goes into waiting hey, longer and getting kip. a lonely mudkip, which has perfect attack and is also plus attack. And that fixes basically all of the bad ranges that we have in the run with attack. But minus defense is way worse than minus special defense. I forgot to save. Oh boy. No, you can save after the cutscene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh. right. Yeah, he, oh, he asked I've you. I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Press no. <laughs> Say no. No, because he gets, he gets knocked back and you have to talk to him again. Yeah, I yeah, always yeah. Just, you I actually... always just mash through that because why wouldn't I? Yeah. All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah, so um, anyway, we can choose yeah. three Pokemon here, but why would we? Swampert's just OP. And just finishing yeah, my thought, the Lonely it. Mudkip also has bad speed. So the combination of bad defense and bad speed makes the Lonely not viable, really. So here's where we hope uh, Steven's Matang is not a, yeah. uh, a two-head, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, this is known as True Double, uh, because we only have control of Swampert. Uh, Metang is awful, except for when he's amazing. Uh, we're Optimal is Metal Claw right here on Mightyena to stop that. That is big not a good start. Star. You want to be, you want to see Scary Face. Oh God. Uh, yeah. So. Well, he's one. Matang is unlikely to be useful at this. At point, least he's but... fired on turn one, so he'll snap out sooner, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Best outcome. Might, given... Mightyena is a range. Oh, I have to look at that Metal Claw. Ah, uh, you light screen so... does nothing. 
Ideally, Fighters are ranged to kill with Storm. <laughs> yeah, ideally you would hit the Mighty Anna, because the Mighty Anna is actually a range. 56%, I believe. Hey, we got it. Okay. Alright, that helps. That's good. Okay, so now we've... Mateng has gotten Light Screen out of the way. Uh, and he's not confused. And he has boosted attack, which actually matters in one specific scenario. And now we pray for Reflect. I'm, I just need him. No, I need him to use any damaging move here. Oh, just true. Any I'll damaging move, that. and I'm good. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the situation where getting the boosted. Um, oh. So, yeah, that does a lot of damage with the uh, boosted attack, the Metal yeah. Claw. It's, see, and... Metal Claw plus Surf doesn't actually kill unless he has boosted attack. The most dangerous part about this fight is having both bats out at the same time. So the yeah. fact that he was able to take down Crobat right away is kind of a big deal. Alright. And we win now. We're fastly. Metal Clorn Camerupt. Yeah, because he saw it. He was always going to attack you yeah. right there because he saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm pretty sure he's guaranteed to Psychic, but it's going to be a Mighty Anna that comes out, so... We haven't talked about uh, surf counts so far, but you need exactly three surfs left at the end of this fight mm -hmm. um, for Archie later. So uh, that's also important as far as how this oh. how this fight goes. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> wow, I thought that that almost killed. That's crazy. Yeah, no, he he used Malapod because both Malapod and Psychic killed, so we're going to fifty-fifty. Yeah. I probably right, well, that with strength, but... Didn't die to true double, so that's good. I don't Bad fight. Yeah. Actually, really really solid fight, yeah. Yeah, that, that was a good fight. Go really wrong, such as Yeah, there's a lot of ways that fight could go wrong. Uh, but I got a good outcome. He snapped out as fast as he could have. He did a good... And he did a good move on the Crobat. And I can't really ask for anything more than that, honestly. Yeah, I mean, what Listen we didn't see is that you're, like... you're kind of at very specific HP and Torrent there. And if they hit you, they're going to keep hitting you because they have kill AI. Yeah, exactly. Once you get and hit, they keep hitting you, and then you're relying on Metang to do something, anything, please. Yeah, and sure, you could heal, but you need to have good HP for the next fight because you need Torrent for mm -hmm. that fight. And so, you need Torrent. Yeah. So not getting hit there is really good. Look on that Crobat is the biggest sigh of relief. So we've uh, finally got Dive here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and use that right away. This is where the menus yeah. become Only kind transitioned of... our Swamper into HM Slave. Surf, Dive, Strength, Rock Smash. Pretty funny how that works out. We're, we only have uh, one more fight to use him, hopefully, though, so... Uh, mm -hmm. it's, actually, it's actually pretty ideal. Ideally, you do not get level 46. That is testament to your optional list yep. from a certain point. Yeah, and that's why we did uh, that battle in Tamalize's Gym as a double battle. Yep. To uh, split the XP, because we get really close to level 46. I don't know how much experience away you are. It's, it's, it's like, like any, battle, any like, fight pretty much. Yeah, any, okay. any fight will pretty much push you over. So Kill a wild magic cop, you're probably level uh, like Good, good bit of movement um, in this section. A cool little spinner pass here. Don't mess it up. Okay. What's really fun there is if you get the quick spin so he faces up, it's like, oh, I'm just going to run down and uh, and make him look down so I can go back up and do it again. And then he looks right and sees you. <laughs> yes. Definitely so not that's... speaking from experience on that right one. Left. Yeah, that's actually a pass we... Play. We uh, got from Ringo, I believe, who's uh, the Japanese world record holder in this game. Um, I think before we were doing some weird like bag manip, and he he was the one who first did that that pause minute or that pause minute there. And we were like, oh, that's a lot better. Also very satisfying to get from bonking off the bike, running into it. Yeah, so this a couple of boulders. Pain, honestly. <laughs> yeah. The lag from the I, know the, I know the solutions to these puzzles already. What? How did you know that? <laughs> yeah, uh, probably probably gave you a lot more trouble when you were playing through as a kid. I remember to save here. <laughs> I 
think I messed it up in my PB. Yeah, so... This is pretty much the last, like, super scary fight, excluding Champ. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, also Glacia. Last... Well, I wouldn't say super scary on Glacia, but... Oh, but is your name Wave Warrior? <laughs> or, That's or, true. Uh, huh. Phoebe, missing fly, <laughs> curse. Uh, yeah, that feels bad. Uh, anyway, we're in Torrent, so we just we kill the Mighty Etta. It, it's really bad if you don't immediately kill these Mighty Etta's again, because they have scary face. Yeah, so we kill the Mighty Anna right away, um, and then we do a very, uh, like, scary setup here on the Crobat, where it can be bad news if it crits. But we kind of manage our HP so that that doesn't happen. Oh, you X, you X, X item first, usually. Oh, oh well, yeah. I mean, I was, I'm dead to a crit. Yeah. I'd rather not risk two crits on this fight. Yeah, either way, it kind of works out. And we win. Uh, th I think there's a chance it, it used a different move there. There's a chance it can use Air Cutter, which yeah. is only 90% accurate. And if it misses, it's possible for you to be too high HP. But that's a super niche there. The god fight here is you skip the energy powder and you do like an X speed on turn one, and then he misses Air Cutter and you just skip the heal entirely. And look at how close to level 46 we are there. Yeah, see, yeah. And when you get to 46, not only do you have to go through the level up, but it, it tries to teach Protect, Earthquake. which is really slow. Earthquake. Protect. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty is sure it's Protect. protect. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Earthquake Earthquake is the TM in here, though. So maybe that's why you're I knew about, about that. Maybe that's why I'm confused. Always. Whatever. Believe me, I've hit it. Yeah, I don't know because no. I never get level 46. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait, you're, you're too directions. good at the game to know this. <laughs> <laughs> Same joke, but different directions. Funny. That was probably the game where Archie's like, Yay, we made it rain! Oh no, we made it rain! <laughs> this is totally unexpected. <laughs> the actual text is like, It's raining? That's good. It's raining more than expected. <laughs> I you want rain. No, basically a much. minor deity of rain, like... Anyway, uh, we're going to actually surf down to uh, Pacifolog right now and get the fly point for that, so that we can fly there later. Yeah, it's actually a fair bit away from everything else you need to do, so... Being but able it's to really fly back close and forth. To, it's really close to Sky Pillar, compared to Moss Deep, so... Yeah. And if you're new, this surfing section is actually something that's yeah, fairly strangely tricky. strangely precise. Yeah. I'm actually doing, I'm doing a very specific series of movements here in order to dodge these walkers, swimmers. Certain point, if you bonk for more than four frames, you hit an optional. Funny that I found that out. Yeah, so to go through those doubles, you have to actually move when they're on the screen. It's right move. here, yep. If you bump for four frames there, that guy sees you, <laughs> the guy coming up. Oops. Alright, so I got and the fly point. Navigate around that girl, and there you are. You actually don't have to get on the land there, even though you don't yep. see the prompt for being in the town. Being on that tile in the water is actually close enough to get the fly point. And now we're going to head over to Sinopolis. head left there just a bit so you can see the end of the yeah oh, kind of yeah. use the uh the islands here to navigate My and first then specific tile here to here. uh dive and it'll be right in front of the door this is Sutopolis, uh pretty pretty coolly designed pokemon town giant crater in the middle of the ocean We get the yes. cutscene, or one of one of the cutscenes. Yeah, the infamous Groudon, why are you fighting on the water cutscene. <laughs> this is very not favored. It's also raining too. Just like <laughs> yeah, 
it goes back and forth between sun yeah. and moon. Yeah, this is the drought. I wonder if you get in a battle, like a wild battle, does it actually show sun or rain? I don't actually know. I don't think... Can you get in a wild battle here? Yeah. Well, I just mean in, like, the overworld, outside of the city as well. I don't uh, know. Also, also Never tried it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so in cool. Sapphire, in this part, you have to do some tricky biking, but because yeah, we're you have to playing play Emerald, we get, to, we get to be lazy, and Steven just walks us over to the cave. Yeah, and also the Cave of Origin is you know, nothing. Easier. <laughs> yeah. In Sapphire, it's like three extra rooms that are in the dark and require perfect movement on the mock bike. But in this game, it's just this. We're there. Ooh, that was tough. <laughs> And now, for whatever reason, this 10 year old girl knows where Rayquaza is. Yep. It's actually uh, the phone call you get from Brendan before yeah. um, uh, before the swimming game. route. He uh, says, I saw a green Pokemon flying towards route, whatever, like the route that Sky Pillar's on. So they actually, they actually do give an explanation for that. I don't read. <laughs> That's work. okay. I mean, when you're speed running, you're barely paying attention, right? Like you're just <laughs> trying no, not good to thing die. Is we only have uh, one Pokemon right. alive here, so we can save a yep. few steps by going under this double battle. Yeah. So the swimming here is actually very precise, and these guys mm -hmm. are all spinners, so it's like very um, easy to mess up and hit an optional. Now for the hardest biking in the game, Sky Pillar One. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, so Sky Pillar One. How many people I see mess this up? Sky Pillar it, it, One is I'm like one of them. <laughs> very straightforward, and then Sky Pillar Two is like just crazy turns, That's like every one. like half a second, you know. Bunch of rocks and uh... places you can fall through and lose a yeah, bunch of time. I mean, there is one place that can happen here, but it it's very easy to avoid it. Um, and at the end, you'll see, uh, so in this last room, uh, he'll be, uh, getting on the bike, which changes the music. And right at the end, he'll get off the bike before he runs to the door. And that's an audio lag, uh, skip. If you don't get off the bike there, there's like two seconds of black screen in between the transition. No mistakes for Skype. Does a bonk count as a mistake? Oh, I'm not getting bonkless. Are you insane? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bonkless is silly. I've gotten bonkless to the last floor. I'm seeing people vote uh, yes, and I'm gonna really hard. I'm gonna take advantage and get my free points here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Wave. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wanna do a <laughs> solid and, uh, Are you mess up Sky Pillar? <laughs> okay, time time to just run through all of Sky Pillar to screw over all those people. I just dropped 16k <laughs> channel points on no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, pressure's on. I'll drop. I'll drop all mine on. Uh, on yes. You're a fool, dude. Ekman, yeah, but, I'm uh, so sorry. But defining but you're gonna lose your channel points. Nah, I believe I'm, I'm gonna mess up in the first room. Like even the first room is hard. <laughs> all right, Jordan says it's what you class no mistakes as. All right, I'm gonna deafen for this section until I catch Rayquaza. All right, yeah. now we Good get luck. brain RNG. Yeah, so <laughs> it's literally uh, okay, I'll, I'll dive in after the rain RNG. Let's see what we Yeah, get. so this this cutscene actually uh it's always amazing go... in the marathon runs. Yeah. <laughs> it was perfect. That was really fast. So that rain can actually go like I don't know, like ten seconds longer sometimes, just randomly. We're like uh, up to fifteen, seventeen seconds, yeah. I think. It's bad. It just loses but, um, time, just like that. So yeah, it's really tilting and like PB attempts to get like really long rain RNG because there's just nothing you can do about it. All right, now so. wave engages focus mode. For Time for hard hardest movement. movement in the game. Only a true Pokemon master can bike this good. Okay. All right, starts off the same. 
Uh, but you gotta go around. That was really good. Please. And here you gotta be precise not to fall through the floor. That is really good. Wow, that's something. Okay. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> well, I guess I'm getting some channel Oh points. my god, the repel wore off. Oh, okay, I'm fine. I can save this. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very annoying to save. Alright, good uh, time for a Yeah, you should probably repel now, though. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Completely forgot. Yeah. It's probably one but of the only You got really lucky you didn't get any gunners there. That was a really now, good start to Sky Pillar, though. Your first two floors were, were, or first three floors were perfect. It's Giga Chad time. We're gonna catch a Rayquaza, hopefully of good stats, in a Pokeball. Now, in the speedrun, we actually have like six Rayquazas routed out, uh, uh, routed out, and they are relaxed, a second relaxed, a brave, an adamant, a quiet, and a, a second brave. The ideal cluster is the Brave and Adamant cluster, because they are plus attack, and we take advantage of that by having to use less X items. Yeah, world we record attempts actually only go for the Brave and Adamant, um, yeah. because they don't they don't play around the other ones. They don't even buy the extra X special for the Quiet, so if, if exactly. they get Quiet, then it's kind of kind of bad. So ideally, oh, it's a two-frame window. Oh, that might be though. early on the ball throw. Yeah, so this is a four-frame okay. Yola Ball. This should be good. Yes. Okay. Good but game. it's four, it's four frames across two inputs, so if you're late on one input, it, you need to be early on the other, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So it's actually really tricky, even though it's not frame perfect per se. We know our ray based on its health. Oh, that is. Yep. This is the quiet. Quiet's fine. Yeah. yeah. Well oh done. yeah, we've got a spec. Chilling. No person berries though. Quiet Pain. is one later than Adamant, <laughs> yes. and be one before that is Brave. So those, so he's one frame late on the ideal cluster, but this is definitely usable. Yeah. Even a world record attempt, you can pretty much always salvage with the Quiet as long as you hit the We like the meme on the Quiet, but the Quiet's not that bad. It loses like one turn on champ, generally. Yeah. But now we get to see Wave go for the three turn Outrage. And then risk okay, I need. Let's not touch. mess up this puzzle. I refuse to save for this puzzle. <laughs> okay, sure. I believe. I've never messed it up. So the thing about messing up this puzzle is there are trainers you cannot get around if you fall down. So even though it's very slow trainers. movement, your hands are still kind of sweating a little bit because you're thinking about, oh, if God, I go doing one this pile puzzle down after you just got first try Rayquaza on two twenty nine pace. Is the hardest. It's harder than Sky Pillar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, those, those those 16 frame walking tiles, man. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Everywhere there's a rock in that puzzle, there's a trainer if you fall below. And yeah. a lot of them are unavoidable. So if you it's fall, it's literally you... faster. It's literally faster to reset back to Raymond Ep and do it again. Yeah. If you fall, it's run over pretty much, no matter what. Anyway, I got the Quiet, which is plus special attack, minus speed. Uh, the other three are all plus attack. Plus attack is better because it lets you... Because your Aerial Ace is your main move. And Outrage is strong enough that even with minus special attack, it kills things. Um, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. And, like, the main thing to make it work is I got the extra spec earlier. And so I don't actually really lose time on champ. Alright, yeah. well, now, because there's only one Pokemon left, I just go for the coin flip. Never works! Yeah, so it's better to yellow this when there's only one left. And when there's Leah two left, it's a little bit moves. more of a risk. Especially uh, because Wishcash has Amnesia and all that, so... Mm A little bit trolled, Lance but we're through, Juan. And now that we have Rayquaza, uh, it's broken, and the run is pretty easy from here, for being honest. Yeah, so we're just gonna do a menu pretty soon to set up our moveset for Rayquaza, and then head to Victory Road. Each Aerial Ace, 
and we're gonna teach Waterfall. Funnily enough, we're gonna teach over Extreme Speed, which you might think is a good move, but like, Aerial Ace is a lot better, because we're gonna outspeed everything anyway, and it's stab, and it can't miss. Yeah, yeah guaranteed to hit. Very nice. Waterfall, we cannot teach it to Swampert, unfortunately, because Swampert is maxed out on HMs, yeah. and Waterfall just ends up being useful anyway. It's really convenient that Rayquaza can learn Waterfall. If it didn't, we'd have to, like, catch a Meryl, basically. Go back to Wingull, Manip. Can Wingull learn Waterfall? Probably not, honestly. I, I don't know. I think it was an old strat that we caught, like, like we fished for, like, a Sharpedo or something, right? For <laughs> Tane Laza. I don't know about this. That's, that's ancient. Yeah, I think that was, like, years and years ago. So maybe something like that. Here on out, it's like minor time saves we're looking for, which are either execution based. Victory Road is uh, completely in the dark until the first and last rooms, which are the same room, but yeah. Yeah, Victory Road is actually. Perfect movement. It's actually a really hard section, and it, I feel like a lot of people kind of sleep on it because you never end up getting there most of the time. <laughs> that's right, that's why I never practice it. Yeah, exactly. So it. And there's very specific surfing he does here to go through the trainers. Um, you just go along the bottom here, and you don't have to worry about any of these guys. Uh, definitely a rookie mistake I've seen from a lot of people is hitting those guys. So yeah, just, go on, that, just go on that. Go on that road, and you'll never hit them. Yeah, see how good I can do this victory road. All right, great start. Okay, on One of the things we're looking for in victory road is. Uh... One of the only RNG points is one, no useless crits, and two, Pelipper not using protect. Yep, twice. there's a Pelipper, and it has yep. protect. It's also a Nightingale that can use thought. quick attack, but. Pelipper shows up to troll you one more time. Yeah. And then, like, uh, Phoebe has own Pelipper. Its name is Dusclops. Yeah. <laughs> Dusclops is worse than Pelipper in the can use uh, Curse if you miss the move Fly on it. I suppose we'll get to can that actually make you lose some time too if you have specific Rayquazas, the Adamant in particular, um, yeah, because like well, you have to hit a waterfall range. range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, we have the Quiet. The unfortunate thing with the Ray Cluster is it's a 4 frame for stats, but all of the Rays are like 7 out of 10s of what we'd want in those minutes. Like, their stats are insane. They're top 1% of stats you can get. But in terms of if we're actually manipping stats, probably around a 7 out of 10. And unfortunately, there doesn't exist a 3 frame of, like, 8 out of 10s or 9 out of 10s anywhere. There's a 2 frame that exists, but going for a 2 frame stats window at the end of the run is scary. Yeah. Also, it's like you have to weigh how much you want to wait for good stats versus just like. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that two framer is? Uh, I had it in my notes somewhere. I don't know where it is right now, though. Because if it is time save, I don't know. If you're on a run where you could use some time save. Mm -hmm. I think it's later than this oh, cluster, and... though. Yeah. Oh. It's better stats, but it's later, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because this is a really early cluster. But then the yellow ball is really late. <laughs> oh, true. It's a lot of time loss. So we have some uh, dark boulder puzzles here. Um, you have to be careful because if you push the boulders the wrong way, you, you can actually get uh, stuck and have to go back. Yeah. Oh, so, I've never actually happened, but actually navigating back to find the. I have had that happen to me when I was new awful. at least once, and it was very bad, oh, yes. <laughs> He's Couple rusty, but he, he, but he's like so good. Don't yeah, that, that part's especially hard where you have to bike down and try to bike right, right in front of this trainer, but like listen, you don't really have any good cue. Listen, lose, it's like listen. riding a bike. Yeah, it's That's it's true. all muscle memory, really, honestly. Such Maybe I should practice joke. this one day. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Wave. It's a good one. <laughs> no slow clap. <laughs> Almost. Uh, that was pretty good up until that part. It's hard to be tile perfect on the mock bike in the dark, is the moral yeah. of the story. The bigger question is, are you going for the run to bike? 
Yes. Nice. I mean... It's not that hard when you're right next to them. Also, it's you're a marathon. Going... I mean, if you miss it, yeah. it's like, whatever, yeah, you know? You one-shot the guy. She is I'm still on pace for underestimate right now, as long as nothing else goes catastrophically wrong. So time for something to go catastrophically wrong. Which can't really happen until Phoebe at the earliest. Yeah. Or hitting an optional. <laughs> yeah, so after this next section, he's going to be taking a ladder. And after that ladder, he'll do a little uh, run to bike in the dark, which is tile perfect. So pretty scary. You actually can do it one tile earlier and it still works, but then the run to bike is hard. It's, you know, four it's, 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 it's tile hard. perfect when you have to turn down, at least. Yes. But yeah, you can you can run one or two tiles down and it still works. And the hardest part about it is uh, factoring in the turn frame to running the right direction and the right amount of steps. Yeah, you can bonk off the wall though. All right, there we go. That's true. Yeah. Like this. Nice. Nice. Well done. Yeah. So there's two trainers there. So if you if you run one tile extra to the left, like you're you're toast. <laughs> it's a double. Yeah. Yeah. Although Rain Swamper would probably wouldn't have much trouble. And those those optionals don't exist in Sapphire, which is kind of funny. Yep. A lot of things don't exist in Sapphire, but what does exist is Cool Trainer Brook. <laughs> there's a, there's a trainer on the, the Maxi 1 split. But in Emerald, you can bike behind, but in Sapphire, it's a required fight. And she has a Roselia that is a ranged... You are ranged to kill it, and if you don't kill it, then it 100% kills you. It's cool training. It's it's good AI. Yeah, we, uh, we actually rerouted it recently, uh, so that cool trainer broke is not a problem most of the time. Hey, no double protect, that's good. Yeah. That is ideal. Well, luckily, you don't get confused if protect interrupts your outrage. I'm not going to deposit all my pokes, just... Just in case I have revives. Yeah, so this game strong. doesn't have the same issues as Fire and Leaf Green, right? Where depositing, if you don't deposit all your pokes, you can get roared. Oh, uh, yeah, um, like that. I hope yeah. there's nothing like that, actually. I never checked. Yeah, I haven't checked either, but I, I'm pretty confident I that that's not the same. I can't set up pokes. like that in this game. It is, I mean, it is a little bit faster. It's slower to deposit three things, but it's faster to deposit four. I think you have extra uh, X items anyway, so if you needed a swap, like it's not really a huge deal yeah, most yeah, of the yeah. time. Because I quite actually don't use save for Glacia. So, because um, uh, if I miss the range and die, I can just revive. And then, I mean, I guess yeah, I can miss the range twice, but like, you can outrage on Mulran with Glacia. Yeah, it's an eighty-eight percent range. Wait, it's yeah. a, I didn't know Outrage was a range on wall ramp. Yeah, it is. Not not written in the notes. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. It's in my notes. <laughs> That's why I'm writing my own. I think it was in the notes, so maybe I changed it a little bit. Your note still doesn't contain the 1 in 16 high roll and nose pass. 1 in 16 high roll? Oh, yeah. Yeah. People keep yeah. asking about that. The like, thing is, I, I have my, I have my own, I have my own notes, and like, I also manage the beginner notes, so it's like, yeah, yeah, I get confused. Right. But also, I inherited those notes from someone else, and a lot of the things that were wrong were not checked by me. So, <laughs> oh, true, so people true. come and tell me that they're wrong, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'll fix it. All right. So Sydney's the free fight. It's. If you have the adamant requisite specifically, then Absol is a range of waterfall. Other than that, the fight is free. BB is annoying. They're specific for one specific reason. So this, uh, what's this called? Dusclops? Yes, Dusclops is coded to always use protect until it blocks a move. So we're gonna start by setting up an X attack. And because it didn't block a move, it's guaranteed to use Protect again. Now, we use Fly on this turn. This counts as it protecting a move. So now, hopefully, it doesn't use Protect, but it did. This is the bad outcome. Yeah, so it still can use Protect, it's just not guaranteed. Yes, it's not guaranteed to. 
but now you can aerialize it. The reason that's an issue is because we have a very specific aerial ace count. Um, we use basically all of our aerial aces by the end. For and fortunately, you have the Duskloff's Dusk ability is pressure, which means by using aerial ace, you actually burned two aerial aces there. So You have the quiet Arquesa, though, so you can actually save some aerial aces later that's on. That's true. I'm going to save one on Glacia, and I'll probably be outraging on Champ, so it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, I outraged too early. Whoops. Uh, we're just going to get the three turn. Yeah, three turns seems yeah. easy to get, you know, skill issue otherwise. It's always Tails. Yeah, fortunately that Banette dies. See? Easy. Okay, Literally it's actually a pretty big time. brain. You, sa you save time, yeah. It's extremely it's risky. It's generally not worth it to risk a three turn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I lost count of... How many turns in pass? I was counting my aerial laces because normally it's actually pretty rare for uh, him to protect your fly. Not rare per se, but it's not the common outcome. Most likely your fly hits. Um, so I'm used to aerial acing twice and then outraging. Anyway. This fight, uh, Sugo can do two things. You can either hail or ice fall. Best case scenario is Ice Ball miss, but that's very rare. Yeah, Hail is the standard outcome. Luckily, we have Airlock ability yeah. that negates Wither effects, so we do not. Unfortunately, the hit the text still comes through, but we don't get yeah. hit by it. We still get the Hail text, but we don't get hit by it. This is the standard fight. Ice Ice Ball is more rare. Um, so you can't you can't. Make, it's not really little, time loss. Right. This wall rain is uh, the same range as Shelly's Mightyena and Watson's Mainetric, so we killed both of them. I got both of those ranges, so I'm definitely going to miss this one. <laughs> and that's <laughs> right. That's how it works. With, if you have a plus attack ray, you end up fly, using fly on the uh, on the wall rain instead. That's a guaranteed kill, except fly is 95% accurate. Yeehaw. Okay. We are, because we have plus special attack, this is 88%, 14 and 16. So, here's hoping. Alright. That's right, we, we missed both the Zatu and the, the Lunatone range, so yeah. we got that out of the way already. Yeah, you deserve a break at this point. I don't need for Drake, I'm fine. You have an extra X speed, right? I mean, it's yeah. okay. If I get rock tombed, I'll just kill it and set up on the Ulteria. And like, worst thing that happens is I get Dragon Breath paralyzed, but I can just heal that off. We're talking about this thing. It's seventy-five percent to protect and twenty-five percent to rock tomb. We want to get protect on this turn because if it rock tombs, then we have issues. Okay, perfect. We're good. Ideally, it switches to Rock Tomb there, but that's it doesn't happen very often. Again, 25%. Yeah, Protect is what you want to see. Yeah, this is this is a perfectly standard fight. We have had many people be trolled by Drake, and uh, today is World not the record, day. World Record actually gets Rock Tomb miss into Rock Tomb, I think. Yeah, your your final two fights are insane. For what it's record. crazy. So, like, I was comparing against Shearer's run, which had a pretty good Elite Four. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm like 25 seconds ahead at Sydney, and that's the furthest ahead I'm going to be for the rest of the run. And I just so happened to get great fights and ended up, like, finishing 11 seconds ahead of his time, I think. I yeah. Can't Barely at 229. In intimidate, days. yeah. Intimidate causes weird lag there, and so I've seen many people accidentally aerial ace that because there's like lag frames when you're trying to go right to outrage. I don't know. I, I don't it, understand exactly. How it it's works. Ringo. Ringo said garbage intimidate lag. Yeah, I believe. <laughs> kind of became a meme. No, garbage talent and flag. Champion. That's what he said. Yeah. All right, champ fight. Unfortunately, we do have to save for this fight because it, we have to set up on the first poke, which knows Blizzard. 
um, and Blizzard does a lot of damage. Yeah, this fight can definitely kill you, speaking yeah. from experience. <laughs> Very sad we don't get to fight Steven here, even though it would be a harder fight. It would mean that oh, if God, you did have a full double, yeah. we'd have to, we'd if have you have did a you get to strats. kill Matang. Yeah, we'd have to have an X special or whatever and set up. Yeah, set up. We would. We would definitely have to do waterfall yeah. strats. That'd be annoying. We would have to have a few extra X specials, yeah. and you'd Time have for to the sour, fly please. somewhere else in shopping. Ideally, he misses Blizzard. No. World record got double Blizzard miss, which is pretty fun. <laughs> which is very absolute, silly. Absolute banger champion theme. Yeah. Don't freeze. Alright. And because I'm quiet, I have to fly here. Aerial Ace doesn't actually kill. And if you miss, yeah. then Waylord will miss Blizzard, I have to hit Blizzard, another right? fly. <laughs> double edge. Oh, okay. Yeah, kill range, I suppose. Yeah. Yep. And double edge is 100 accuracy. That uh, it this, is. this one I can't hear it. Yeah, so basically you have to set up twice on this fight, um, but with the quiet, you want to set up the X special instead of the second X attack. Yeah. Well, the best Speaking fight advantage. is actually yeah. getting uh, getting Blizzard Mist so that you can set up two X attacks on uh, Whale, Whale Lord. And then you set up a third X attack on Gyarados, actually, which I messed up in my record run, by the way, because I forgot what the strat was. Yeah, well, in world record attempts, you also don't have the X special, so that's the only option. Mm -hmm. I actually did have the X special that run because I skipped Super Potion. Oh, yeah, sometimes you do. I guess there's a lot of weird things that go into world record attempts in terms of the shopping. Big advantage of the Brave oh, Adamants is so, you only yeah. have to X special uh, X attack once, which is the same for this, but you can also just aerial ace Waylord, not risking the fly and saving a turn. Alright, All right, so we have to get one more three turn here. Uh, if we hit ourselves on Whisk Cash, it has Amnesia. Which makes it so that we don't kill it outrage and we have to fly it instead. Yeah, it's another reason to have the person buried, because if you got two turn you just kill with the person and keep spamming it. Right at the end of the run. Alright, let's go. Alright. Wave would usually tell me just don't hit quiet. Oh yeah, right. I mean that is the world record strat, it's just not hit this Requeza. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh this you're getting trolled. <laughs> oh no. He used Amnesia, I'm not sure. Twice. Now you have to fly, I guess? I don't know. I hope this kills. I'm not confident. I I don't know if it does at plus one, like but... Nope, okay. notes is, uh, if you get a bad rate... Uh, we'll get through fly. this eventually. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're chilling. That's oh, no, they don't heal. Wait, do they heal? Lace, right? They do heal. I couldn't... Yeah, yeah they're gonna heal. Yeah, just this is not the situation you're normally in, in a run. It's or just... Aerial Ace, yeah, that works too. That's I mean, he doesn't get heal range. Outraged. Oh wait, you could have just outraged, right? <laughs> no, because he's double amnesia. Oh yeah, true. I've... Yep, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that uh, wouldn't even two shot, would it? This is a super three. rare situation you got <laughs> going here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Did it work out? Yeah, we got there. This is like a two forty three. A really good run. Honestly, Underestimate. That, that's why I set the estimate to two forty five in case we get, you know, something like monumentally trolled on Tate and Liza. That wouldn't happen. Something of that nature. Without the, you know, four minutes of time lost, there's with a sub 240. And now the yeah. run's not over, because we have to beat Steven. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually the donation incentive for certain marathons. Now Wave's gonna lose a bit of extra time here because yeah, uh, I have all the posts on my party. Yeah, I mean, really well played though. No optionals, you know, pretty clean. Yeah. I mean, a couple couple I'm, deaths, I mean, you know, I'm to be expected. Happy with my mock Viking, which yeah. is what matters. <laughs> what are you gonna do about dying twice to Tate and Liza, right? Yeah, I know. Back when we used to race Emerald, I remember Amiibo forfeiting after dying there multiple times, a couple times. <laughs> 
we get to listen to, in my opinion, one of the greatest credits themes. Oh my god, this is so long with five pokes. Yeah, it's pretty long. You hear a part of the song you never hear before. Time. It is good. Uh, I got 243.15 on my end. I don't know what the restream has. But, uh. Slightly off, of but. Yeah. Very nice. GG's. Alright. Great, GG's Wave. That was a great run. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's a lot of fun. I love this game. It's so much fun. It's the best Pokemon speedrun. Totally objective opinion. <laughs> yep, that's right. Alright. That's all for me.